Hello! Was I planning on streaming today? Absolutely not. Am I gonna stream today? Well, obviously because I'm alive. Because I kind of dug my own grave with promising I would play all the main storyline uh, on stream. Because I realized to do this, I needed to do this, so I went live. That's basically legit what happened. Anyway, you guys get extra streams, yippee! We start with the messages, so we only have one. Ooh, I might not go back to the express today. What happened? <laughs> I'm observing a never before seen creature. I would be it would be tomorrow morning when I finish collecting I need to clean my glasses. Jesus, my vision is terrible. I thought I would be able to read my screen, but no. I finished collecting everything. Uh, it will be tomorrow morning when I finish collecting everything I need for the data bank. Why? Are you interested in it? Slightly, maybe? So I made reading like six, six times more difficult for myself by taking off my glasses. It's all just blurry and... Oh god, I cannot see. <laughs> Didn't know my vision was that bad. Okay. Don't worry, no need to push yourself. Furthermore, they're quite vigilant and difficult to observe. They will scatter the moment they perceive a potential danger. I'm thinking about choosing another location to observe them. Go up in the trees or go in the water? Up in the trees, I think, is the best, because... Otherwise, you're gonna be all wet and get cold, and you, you know. Using leaves to camouflage oneself? That might be a good idea. It's too late now. Uh, it's too late to come over now. Will I make it if I go there now? Why? Interested? Just wanna observe you? That's kinda creepy, but sure, that's the only option. Then hang in the tree. <laughs> Fine. Yippee! <sighs> and following... I'm too used to Genshin. I just wanted to jump down. Time to... Can we not just teleport? We can. They... Teleport. I thought it was like the button of teleport close as close as you can. Right. What was it with the kids again? There was something going on. Well, wait, no, there was an other quest. Find the guide arranged. This child is the guide? Okay. Uh, hook? You. Baby. This? wasn't expecting me neither but okay so the moles are a part of wildfire they probably work together ah, that's right oh it's me pitch dark hook the great oh she's adorable what do you want <laughs> kiddo i think there's been a misunderstanding i will be your guide friends <laughs> by order of chief ole I gotta say I'm a little upset at the thought of you choosing a toddler over your old buddy Sam. I trust the toddler more. Alright, alright, don't get started. But I want to ask you something. Everyone in Wildfire knows the location of Svarog's lair. Why do we need you as a guide? Uh, my specialties in the field, perhaps. Wildfire may know where the base is, but have they ever been inside? You've been inside? I was split between asking, you've been inside? Have you been inside? And making a that's what she said comment. No, but I felt my way around the outside and picked up more than a few clues. I can help you. You have my word. <sighs> Do we have to? 
clothes for your own shady dealings, no doubt. Hey, that's not nice. Wildfire made a Never said I was nice. With a job. My legacy will prove that Sempo Koski was nothing but a willing and devoted servant. Uh. Oh, enough. Jeez, we believe you, okay? Show us the way already. I don't believe him. Great. Stay close. Stay close. Oh, Sampo, are we there yet? Do you have to ask every other minute, Missy? Two more steps, just two more steps, and you're there. We made it to a camp. Oh, breakable. This is Farog's lair? I thought it'd be cold and lifeless. Oh, turns out it's pretty busy. Many vagrants are staying here temporarily. Their homes were overrun by monsters. Yeah, that's fair. Isn't it dangerous for them to make camp right under Svarog's metal nose? Where is no Svarog may be ruthless. Where is but the he big metal thing? Without reason. For those with no home, this is actually a safe place to be. Fair enough. <laughs> if I hadn't moved away when I did, I'd probably be where they are right now. Okay. Breakable. <laughs> Collectible. Turly Rolly? Wait, what did I get? <laughs> Chief. Obtained three ancient coins. Okay. Uh, okay. No talkie? Okay. Where does this go? Ooh, listen. No, no, no! You can't insert the microcrystalline unit into the heat sink substrate like that. How do you know? Balloway from Miner's Lamp said that you need to pay attention to the interfaces when assembling relics. To make this thing move again, we need to connect the microcrystalline unit to the operating brake module. So Otherwise, many difficult it's words, just a okay. Pile of scrap metal. If you believe a word that senile idiot Balloway says, you're done for. The last time he acted on his own advice, he electrocuted himself. <laughs> you should be asking people with real smarts. No one is better at fixing machines than Marev. I saw him connecting a microcrystalline conductor unit to a logic control hub to get a vibrating drill to work. Oh. <laughs> Marev? Him and his brother wouldn't know a real relic if it hit him in the face. Last I heard, he got scammed by someone selling counterfeit junk. <laughs> ah, you're just salty, my friend. Alas, this place is a bit of a mixed bag. Plenty of characters. Keep your wits about you, friends. Don't uh -huh, let uh -huh. anyone deceive you. I wanna it's pet it. We've had you for Why practice. can I not pet it? <laughs> you know, Missy, you sure know how to bear a grudge. Yeah, obviously. I, why is there- I feel like these are like dogs in games. You should be able to pet them. Is this maybe my instinct to just pet anything that's slightly dangerous? Yes. But let's ignore that. I also want this gone because it's starting to annoy me. So. Yo, yo, listen up. This one's for all you pretend rappers. Oh, I was like, oh, a rapper, and then I looked at the name. Rapping the dawn of the underworld rap. Here's something to wake up your soul. Check it. Light of the moon of a city of snow. Kid down below gazing up all alone. The background is spitting fire rhymes. How to make sense of this vision the great you to protect, her to defend, queen of oblivion lies with no end. Child born and bred of the underworld dark, orders that keep him in home far apart. Damn. Death and honor, the struggle persists, finding his parents a solitary wish, crackling flame, flickering light, and now he escapes in the dead of the night. Sickness and hunger forever pursuing him, gritting his teeth, leaves a city behind. Scraping of claws, gnashing of teeth, evil intent, hears the sound of his feet. Don't make a sound, don't your breath till it's over. Heart pounding, don't let the panic take over. Howl of the wind, silvery light, hold on to sanity, keep up the fight, now the blizzard descends. I start to close the voices of family lost to the snow. Another Bella Buck night, the hate, the lies just can't hide, yeah. Impressive. Her gaze cold as ice while the world passes by, yeah. 
Another bell and bog night, I find the lies can't abide, yeah. On his face, one last smile, a sign the sun always rises, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Cool. That was honestly impressive. Cannot just. They are everywhere. Why? <laughs> Instructive impulse. Shh. Hold still. You're nearly fixed. Doubt that. My design has been superseded by newer models. My components are no longer valuable. Hey, what are you Aww. talking about? I'm not interested in selling your components. Talk about humans bonding with robots. Okay, we're back here again. Oh, chest. Mine. Ignore me stealing your stuff right from under your nose. Oh, now I feel kind of bad because I remember they're like homeless people. I'm just stealing from homeless people? Did you hear? Those idiots got into a fight in the mine. <laughs> It only got settled after Boss Farag showed up. I said it before. Only Boss Farag can protect us down here. Everyone should follow his lead. Oh my god. Well, it's a cult. Cat got your tongue? No. Do you ever talk about anything else? I'm so tired of hearing about Svarog. But, but it's true. What else is there to say? Take a look at all these good-for-nothings. I'd starve to death without it. Dude, this is legit just a cult. Okay. And what do you two have to Did say? You see those extra boxes of medical supplies at the depot? Who yeah. brought those over? Uh, Clara. Clara, I assume. Yeah. I can't think of anyone else that'd do something that generous. I mean, we kind of gifted it. Clara? Is she one of us? <laughs> Not even close. She's Farog's trusted family family of a robot don't judge well, you'll understand when you've been here a while longer let the girl have her family all right we explored everything what a heavy gate uh okay watch this Why did she expect that to work? Let me just is do the puzzle and. Secret code or something. I like how it's an imaginary she is. password that children like to use, and I don't think it's going to be of much use. Help! But what about these clues of yours? Hm. I was just about to get into those before Miss March's colorful attempt. Luckily for us, I've already figured out the mechanism. I, I, I see it like right behind you. Let me do the puzzle. Shro in and out of Boss Farag's territory. I mean, if you want to see the big cheese himself, you need a certification. Or just a do the puzzle. Certification? And break open the gate? Correct. Only prospectors with the right certification can get in or out. These prospectors collect mechanical remnants from all over the underground mm -hmm. and then bring them to Svarog for him to repair. Honestly, it's a very profitable little venture. If only I'd beaten them to it. <laughs> They'd be calling me Sampo Bosky by now. A time out. Where do we get this certification? Oh, that's simple. You see the robots over by the vagrants? They're all Sforog scouts. Every one of them is commanded to maintain order here. Mm -hmm. Apart from them keeping a watchful eye on these hooligans, another one of their duties is processing. Anyone who wants to become a prospector has to pass a test from these walking stoplights first. <laughs> they like test or combat test? Not a clue. <laughs> I never had the urge to go on a Svarog suicide mission before. You guys are the ones that want in. Why not go and ask the robots? Sure. It feels like the people here are all under the supervision of robots. This would be unthinkable on the surface. Robots are merely tools in the overworld. Don't take Svarag as an ordinary robot. He's... Uh, special. 
Ah, that's why. Fine, we're gonna talk to the robots. Hey, buddy! This has to be one of them, right? It looks so... Lame. March! <laughs> Is it even awake in there? Don't insult the robots it's that we need to, to help us, please. <laughs> that scared me. <laughs> Weak. Initiating, scanning, verifying. Certification failure. Subject has yet to obtain access permissions. Launching processing. Huh? Are we starting now? Launching stage one processing. Please listen to okay. the following question. Who is the reigning champion of the internal combustion engine ramp tournament? Oh, easy. That's internal probably... Construction what now? How would we know anything about that? I know the answer. Sampo, do you know the answer? I know the answer. Sampo Gasky always knows the... Wait, uh, what did it say again? I know the answer. Let me answer. Aren't you supposed to be dependable? Well, I don't know everything. <sighs> Sometimes you gotta ask around if you want to know the answer. Don't panic. Let's listen in to what the vagrants are talking about. You I already did that. that. Please answer the following question. Who is the reigning champion of the internal combustion engine wrap tournament? 88 degrees. Petrol. Correct answer. Uh, whoa! Was that a lucky guess? No, I actually remembered. Festival without us? No. I just remember everything I just heard, I think. Certification results. Success. Requisite certifications remaining. Two. Yippee. Next question. Extend your right oh. Hand. My right hand? Here you go. Why is this part of the... Oh, hey, hey, ow, ow, ow. So this is the certification mark? Great. Only two more steps to go. Let's move. Okay. Next robots. That one. Uh, what were those two were talking about again? Protocol. Initiating. Scanning. Ugh. I'm so sick of repeating this. I understand. Huh? What did this bucket of bolts just Oi, be nice to the robots. <laughs> Seems like this one's got a temper. Ugh, oh, let's get this over with. Did you get your first certification? Yes. If not, then you're wasting your time. You mean this? Here, look. Confirm. Yeah, yeah whatever. Here comes your question. Yes. Listen up. Riddle me this. A microcrystalline unit should be connected to which component? Oh god, that's what we're, those two were talking about. Uh, was it not the heat sink? I remember something with heat sink, I think. Wrong. Good simple question. Terrible answer. It's back to school for you. Uh, can I smash this can opener <laughs> already? No. no. Ha! You wanna go? You caught me in a bad mood. Let's Do not fight the robot. If we turn you into scrap metal, we still get our certification, right? Don't fight the robot. We're gonna fight the robot. I didn't want to fight the robot. No interest in conflict. Ugh, I should have listened in on the conversation. <laughs> Tough luck running into me. <laughs> Phew. Let's go. The truth of life and death. Ugh. The sanctuary. This is my own fault. I didn't want to hurt her. Try that again. Fighting is meaningless. Wait, have mercy. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, please extend. Put hand out. March, put your hand out. Huh? Me again? Yes. It hurts, you know. Go ahead. Uh, ow. There you are. Only one more to go. Now, please leave me in peace. Yes, I will. I'm sorry. I feel bad that we had to fight the robot. You, what's your question? Oh, functioning. Case, 
We'll need it to identify our certifications. Hmm, there's something wrong with this. Yep. Unfair. Protocol. Inish nish 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 nish. Inish nish 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 nish. Attempting system restoration. Oh, poor buddy. System restoration failure. Core module damaged. External threat detected. We're not an external threat. Elimination activated. Oh, no, 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 no. Finally, no more racking our brains. Poor robot, I want to help it. Don't destroy it. Don't die. Scared yet? Huh? The truth of life yeah. and death. The sanctuary is but a vision. Break! <laughs> Here! This is our chance. How to behave. Let me try and reset its system. certification system online. Fleet. Oh, why is it always <laughs> me? Cause it's ah, funny. Ah, how come it hurt even more than the other two? Oh, I don't know. That's the final step. We can get in now, right? <laughs> Sparog's certification system is no match for us. Cause this better yeah, work. Sure. Let's get back to the gate and give it a go. Okay, now we can at least get in. That's positive. There we go. Confirm. Open sesame! Oh, you just enjoy saying that now, See, don't you? Not so bad having Sampo on the team after all, uh, huh? Right? Chief Oleg knew all along that I... Shush. Yeah, yeah, thank you very much. I'll commend you to the chief. No need to waste your time. All right. Well, let me issue a warning now. Everything from here on out is uncharted territory. Oh, how nice. You must proceed with the utmost caution. Nah. Now to set the record straight with Sparog. Let's get in there. We just... Do did fought, fought two of his robots. Said? No. We didn't, don't care. Oh, I can go down. Do I need to go down though? I don't think so. Maybe later, I will explore that later. Let's just try to get as far as I can with the main storyline. Oh, why is there another gate here? Protection, duh. It looks like this gate has a more complicated structure than the last one. Sampo, what is this? Dude doesn't know. Huh? Sampo? Oh, where is he? Oh, where did he run off to? He was just here a second ago. He ditched us. Hmm. This isn't the first time. Buddy! It's that same type of robot again. Oh, please don't tell me there's another round of processing. Visitors for Zvarog detected. Yeah. Protocol initiating. Scanning. Verifying. What's a good boy? Here's a certification. We just want to see your master. <laughs> Come for this one. I have a few tick of snow. <laughs> oh, good plan. Treat the robots like guard dogs. How is that going to improve our chances? Because they're just so cute. Oh. Failure. Subject has yet to obtain access permissions. How do we do that? Request rejected. Visitors must acquire access permissions from Miss Clara. Isn't Clara? she inside? Oh, the girl we saw in the Great Mine? We need to get permissions from her? What's she got to do with this? Family, duh. Oh, no. Family. Huh, weird. Don't trouble yourself about it. We need to find her. Yes. Hmm. I don't know if this will work, but it's worth a try. Where is Clara right now? Obtaining audio data. Please wait. Please wait. The energy core's bearing component is broken. If 
If we don't repair it soon, the settlement will be pitch black. Timmy, I'm going back to Rivet Town. Maybe I can recover some usable components. You need to guard the gate while I'm gone. Recording recovery complete. Resuming execution of Clara's commands. Don't she fight us. Back? We will go. But we were just there. <sighs> Sounds like we better head over again. Wait, you guys went sightseeing in another town? Uh, not really sightseeing. Uh, it wasn't as fun as you think. Mm-hmm. We should go and find Clara. That little girl heading into the Fragmentum all by herself? Ugh, doesn't bear thinking about. Her strength belies her appearance, but even so... <laughs> you don't look so tough yourself. Well, let's find her. Svarag's not going anywhere. <laughs> Probably not, no. Uh, this is a big town. Where should we start? Claire said she was going to find components, right? Let's start with Nat's storage room. Well, at least this time we didn't have to walk around or teleport ourselves. I think that's positive. What is this? A ghost? Someone there outside the window? My eyes, I can't see, please forgive my rudeness. Strange, have you seen a girl around? Her voice is soft and kind as she wears a headband with a bell. Bells chime with a crisp clarity, it's joy to hear. And that person is my elder sister. She has been out for a while and hasn't come home yet. She told me she was going someplace called the Fragmentum. And she could find something worth selling there. Oh no. Oh, poor girl. I have not seen your big sister. I understand you, kind stranger. Okay, we're gonna find that sister sometime, I hope. I'm just gonna find her. Uh... Freeze. So. Too late to repent. Rules are made to be broken. Boink. No manners, huh? huh? Boink. Tough luck running into me. Let's go. Yeah. Boink. Oh. Fighting is meaningless. Number two, right? The truth of life and death. This the one is but a vision. Break. Boink. Oh, well, let's see. Told you I could. <laughs> Told you I could. <laughs> <laughs> I like it when voice lines you are just cut off. Me. You could have done it without me. You could have done it without me. Uh, boink. Oh, baby. <laughs> Big baby. <laughs> Let's make it quick. Yeah. You can't run. Gotta try hard some. Watch this. Move. That's still awesome move. Try that again. You're annoying. Fighting is meaningless. Oh, well, let's see. My turn. Everything is ordained. Oh, stars. Give these trailblazers Please. your blessing. Let's go. Yeah. Bum. Too late to repent. Bum. Yippee! Walked into the trap. What? Reach the end of the story in your own way. During battle, does not enter the battle as a result of being lost? Defeat the taller before I so Yeah, 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 yeah. But what was the end? The, the walked into a trap. Uh huh. I know. Oh. They were talking about the poor guy walking in our trap. Well, not actually a trap, but still. Oh, I pity the little guys. They're so cute. Uh, was there something here? No. 
Oh, well, that's not promising. Isn't this the robot that was following Clara around? Uh-oh. These can openers all look the same. How can you tell them apart? This one is... Shh. It's about to say something. Listen. Initializing self-repair module. Initialization failure. Clara in danger. Oh, no. Must... Protect. Yes. In danger? What do you mean? Workshop. Target. Must be eliminated. Oh, wait. Does it mean that a monster appeared over at the workshop? Clara. She... Not good. She's in danger. Quick, let's head over to the workshop and check it out. Weren't we the right way. there? Anyway, doesn't matter. If we were right there, okay. Just as we feared, there's something big over there. And, and there's Clara. We have to save her. Let's go. No need to fear. We have the numerical advantage. That thing is huge, though. Ooh. Move carefully. Uh, yeah. Who invited you? Rules Oops. are made to be broken. Wasn't even the button I wanted to press, but okay. Fine. <laughs> yeah. Try that again. The I mean, he is probably gonna is try it again. He's but a vision. Break. Boink. No manners, huh? No, not with her. Fire on fire doesn't really do anything. <laughs> Here. Gotta try hard sometimes. Let's go. Watch this awesome move. This is our chance. Back. <laughs> Back. Tough luck running into me. Let's make it quick. Point. You can't run. You can More run. Uh, I mean, they probably just jump. won't run. There's a Who difference. Who you? Huh? Let's go. Yeah. Ow. Rules are made to be broken. Point. Fighting is meaningless. <laughs> sure, fighting is meaningless. Whatever you say. Battle over. Are you okay, Clara? Are you hurt? Thanks, everyone. I'm fine. Just a few. I think we got hurt more be be worse than her. You shouldn't be running around by yourself. It's too dangerous. What are you looking for here? There is a fault with one of the energy supply units at the base. If I don't repair it soon, everyone at the settlement will be affected. Fair enough. I knew there was a workshop in this town, so I wanted to try my luck here. I found all the components I need, but then I ran into a monster. Mm-hmm. You guys saved me. I'll tell Mr. Svarag about it. Yippee! We were just about to pay him a visit. Uh huh? What do you need to see him for? I can pass him a message. No. This time, we need to set things straight with him face to face. Can you take us sure. to meet him? But... Mr. Sparg doesn't like talking to others. Especially Wildfire. That's fair enough. <laughs> Don't I know it. But he's evaded communication with us for too long. This time, we have to see him. Fair enough. Um, I know you're working hard for the people down here, but Mr. Svarg doesn't trust human emotions. He only trusts his calculation results. Mm hmm So, I can't take you to see him. Okay. If Mr. Svarg and you had a fight, 
someone would get hurt for sure. Maybe even bystanders. Fine. Listen, kid, you... Uh, Clara, you said it yourself before, right? Svarag's duty is to protect the underworld and preserve the civilization. Because she are humans? We have the same wish. Why would he refuse to cooperate with us? I know Mr. Svarov. He isn't affected by other people's wishes. He only follows logical judgments. Terrible things are happening on this world. Mm-hmm. Mr. Svarov thinks that the overworld will end soon. That's fair. What? According to his calculation results, the strength of the underworlders won't be enough to prevent the disaster. Mm -hmm. His plan is to keep the underworlders away from the source of the disaster so they can survive for longer. Isn't that just putting us in a cage? It's ridiculous. What difference does it make if our death gets postponed a couple of days? How is that better than putting up a fight? I don't really think of another way. I'm always trying to convince Mr. Svarov. Please give me more time. Um, if you don't mind, I still have important things to do. I'll go back now. Clara! It's no use, Zila. She's made up her mind. I could tell from her expression. You will have to think of another way. <laughs> another way. That's no ordinary kid. So young uh. and yet so stubborn. No, intelligent. Oh, she's incisive and determined. In sharp contrast to you, <laughs> Did you really have to add that last part? Yes. It looks like we'll have to get past Clara if we want to speak to Svarok. Is there another if way? If we circumvent Clara and the gate, Svarog will only identify us as intruders. He'll be even more likely to give us the cold shoulder. Yes. Mm, isn't a robot shoulder cold to begin with? March. Clara mentioned Svarog's calculation results many times. The strength of the Underworlders won't be enough to prevent the disaster. Those were her exact words. We aren't For Underworlders me, or Overworlders, that's we're from our outside. Point. So, you think Svarog's logic has a hole in it? Yes. No. His calculation is correct. At its current strength, it is highly unlikely that Wildfire would be able to resolve the problems stemming from the Stellaron. However... That calculation didn't take the present situation into account. There's a new variable yet to be added to the equation. Us! Hmm. Precisely. If we can make Svarag believe in us, we can almost certainly overturn the result of his calculation. And we'll be one step closer to But how do talks. you want to do that? But how can we get him to do that? <laughs> Showing him some of our photos wouldn't cut it, right? There's always a way. But first, we have to convince Clara. I assume she must be on her way back to the robot settlement. Let's catch up with her. Oh, good. Okay. She turned that way, quick! Oh, so we are going down. Okay. Do, do, do. Do, 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 do. Down we go. That's the lift, that's health. That's a broken robot. I know I'm running the opposite way, I just wanna. Why is that? A little puzzle. Okay, explore later. I just want to get as far in this main storyline as I can. I need to stay on track. I can explore later. Okay. Huh? Where'd she go? We just saw her go this 
way. Get the... <sighs> we'll just have to head straight and keep looking. Yep. This is not straight, I know, but I want to see... Yeah, never mind. Never mind, never mind, never mind. Why do we have to fight all the robots? I've no interest in conflict. Who will it be? Tough luck running into me. Wait. Just a scratch. Gotta try hard sometime. Watch this awesome move. This awesome move. Slowly getting there. The fighting okay. is meaningless. My turn. Blink. Blink. Too late to repent. Rules. Are made to be broken. Ooh, another achievement. Boink. Boink. Okay. Reach oh, there she is. Story in your own way. Dramatic chest. Hi. Hmm. Why won't it? Can't figure it out. Need help? Oh, it's you. You came with me after all. Yeah. Uh, we couldn't give up you that keep easily. Saying that, but are you repairing this installation, Clara? Hit a snack. Huh? How did you know? We heard you talk. The dimensions and wear of these two roller components look very different from the rest of the unit. You must have only just replaced them. Mm. You replaced the damaged components, but the unit isn't starting up as normal. That's what you're trying to figure out, right? Yeah, I fixed a lot of things before, but I never had to repair one as complicated as this. That's fair. Why isn't Sparog helping you? I don't want to disturb him. This installation was accidentally damaged by two of the vagrants. If Mr. Sparog finds out, they'll get in big trouble. Fair enough. <sighs> you care yeah, about yeah. others? If you're too kind, people can take advantage of you. Ah. I think I found the source of the problem. You replaced the rollers, but the bearing is causing a jam. And there's a misalignment. You two, give me a hand. We should be able to fix it between us. Okay. More fixing? I'm getting good at this. Ooh, puzzle? Can we really fix this? Yes. Relax, we got this. Right, Don Hung? Fix. Less Let's asking, go. more helping. Hmm. There we go. No match for me. Whoa, it lit up. Thanks, guys. No problem. <laughs> no need. We hardly lifted a finger. So. The settlement's energy supply problem is solved for the time being? Yes. The people on the outskirts don't need to worry about heat or light now. Mm-hmm. Um... What's... Oh, wait, I need to make a choice. I'm not trying to win you... Uh... To win you over. I understand. You helped a lot of injured people in the mine. 
And you risk going into the town for supplies. You're good people. Hmm. If there's any other way I can help you, I'll do my best. But this... Uh, how are we gonna convince her? Point out the variable. The variable is... Uh, our arrival! No outsider set foot in the underground for over a decade! On the planet for Clara, over... Do I know how long? Right? Take a look at us. Do we look like underworlders? No. Well... Uh... You do look very different from other people. Right! That's because we're not from here. We've never been a factor in Sparog's calculations. And if those calculations are based solely on the strength of the Underworlders, then the results don't apply to the present situation. <laughs> when did Sparog start doing his calculations, Clara? It was a long time ago. The same time the Underworld was sealed off, I think. Circumstances have changed since then. There's a silver main guard down here now. Is that part of Sparog's calculation? Not to mention we're... And three people more than when we started. Not even from this planet. There's just no way that Sparog's calculations would have included variables like us. You know? Different planet? Yep. Don't treat me like a child. Those are just made up stories that grown ups like to tell. Oh, no, 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 no. I don't. Show the pictures. But you are a. And let's not insult her right now. <laughs> In other words, people have already conquered the heavens. Oh, in other worlds. She and March aren't lying, Clara. I believe them. Oh, thank Anya. you. Do you really? I know how you feel, Clara. You want new hope for the underground, but you don't want anyone to get hurt in the process. Fair enough. Understandable. Yes. I also have doubts, but my gut tells me that March, Dan, Hung, and she, they are the new hope this world has been waiting for. Me. Let them meet Sparag, and let's see if his calculation result is any different for you, for him. There's no harm in trying, right? We will bring change to this world. Ta -da -da -da, like a I... dramatic. Okay, Poor child. I'll take you to see Mr. Sparrow. She's taking way too much responsibility. Really? Awesome! But only the three of us? Mm, I understand now. Trying to change Mr. Sparrow's mind on my own would take forever. Mm -hmm. Even if I kept trying until I was all grown up, I don't think I could do it. And all the while, people would be getting sick, losing their homes, and fighting. Just like in the mine. I don't want that to happen. If you guys really believe that you can convince Mr. Sparog, then I need to be brave too. Yippee! Everyone, follow me. Yes, will do. Branya, I didn't know you'd stick up for us like that back there. Well said. It was nothing. I just said what I truly felt. And healed, and that's... No, that's the right way. And up we go! Let's go! I'm back, Timmy. Hi, Timmy! Welcome back, Miss Clara! Timmy, open the gate, please. I want to see Mr. Sparrow. Outsiders detected. Do you wish to permit access? Yes. It's okay. They're all my guests. Yippee! Command received. 
Access restriction terminal unlocked. Welcome back, Miss Clara and guests. Yeah, thank you. Let's go. Uh, if you can, please try not to upset Mr. Swan. We will try, kiddo. It's okay, Clara. We're here to reason with him. Try. I'll leave negotiations to you guys. They're not my strong point. Yes, thank you. Negotiating with robots. I can't say I've tried it before. Fair enough. Are you ready? No. Let's go. Oh, hi! You're actually waiting for us in this wide I'm open space. I see that the energy supply system is back online. Thank you, Clara. But why have you brought them? Hi, buddy. Mr. Sparrow, they want to talk to you about going to the surface. Analyzing. Analysis result. Target does not belong to wildfire. Background unknown. Classification unknown. Hi. You have arrived on Clara's recommendation. I will give you an opportunity to speak. Thank you. Now let's piss you off. Sounds like he's willing to communicate. Quick, time to smooth talk him. Uh. To be or not to be? That's the question. Oh, that would most definitely piss him off. Uh, we're here about the future of the underground. An inadequate pretext. You are not from the underground. You have no right to represent underworld humanity. Proceed with your central point. Do not fine, waste fine, this world's fine. valuable time. Uh, he cut you off completely. This guy. Just stay focused. Remember, we have to make him see that we're a variable in the calculation. We're a variable. Do you know what a stutter run is? Stellaron. Searching database. Access denied. Discussing Stellaron with unauthorized targets. Prohibited. So he does know something. You are approaching a secret that lies at the heart of this world. A secret that should remain unknown to humanity. Reassessing targets. Threat index raised. I demand that you reveal your true intention. Mm, as expected. He knows of the Stellaron. But it's a restricted topic. We've come this far. Out with it already. Just be straight with him. Everything depends on it. Uh-huh. You want to bring this old disaster to a close. Historical records state that humanity has already made multiple efforts to engage with the Stellaron. Without exception, these efforts have been motivated by human greed. Attempts to secure the article for a selfish end. As instructed by the architects, any attempt to engage with the Stellaron will result in grave consequences. Reassessing. Target threat index critical. Uh, what should we do? This is going from bad to worse. The powers of calculation suck. Oh yeah, let's not piss off the robot. Dude, you know your whole thing is calculations, but you suck at it. That's not the way to go. <laughs> Why not like those others, please? There is no evidence to suggest you are an exception. Calculation result remains unchanged. Peacekeeping protocol temporarily disengaged. Requesting extermination protocol launch. Oh no. An extermination? In the literal sense? What other sense is there? Over. March. Prepare for combat. Poor Clara. Mr. Sparrow, please don't. Leave, Clara. Yeah. Clara, just leave. It's dangerous here. Find somewhere to hide. Clara? Looks like we have to take action after all. Prototype number three, monitoring automaton Svara. Extermination protocol launch. Successful. 
We're gonna have to fight the dude. We're really just destroying all her emotional support robots. What does the C stand for? Operation. Oh god, it's all Move them. carefully. The truth of life and death. Revealed We're not gonna kill the emotional sport spotter figure robots, right? Pray. I pray. Please, poor child. <laughs> A gift from the stars. Let's make it quick. Take this! Everything is ordained by the star. All profound secrets of the stars. Give these trailblazers your blessing. Watch this! Executing annihilation. <laughs> Oof. Calculating result. <laughs> I don't remember inviting. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember inviting. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> you have the worst luck running into me. Stay right there while I sure can about that. Step try aside. Hard sometimes. I have no interest in Check out hard. this awesome move. <laughs> And he instantly no, recovered from right. Great. Uh, and why can I not use? Oh. <laughs> How can you put up your best fight without a doctor on the battle? Oh, hey, Natasha. How All did you good. get here? Stay focused. I'm right behind you. Oh, thank you. Nat, how did you... Guess you guys had a bad talk, huh? Luckily, Sampo's got your back. <sighs> Sampo! You ditched us. I knew you'd be involved somehow. Base breached. Armed wildfire personnel detected. Assessing. All subjects are high-risk individuals. Commencing complete annihilation. His calculations really do suck. The truth of life and death revealed when sanctuary is but a vision. Rules are made to be broken. Bigger boink. Gotta try hard sometimes. We. Check out this awesome move! <laughs> Executing operation. Wait. Move carefully. A guest with no manners, huh? Huh. <laughs> Who's the lucky one today? Who's the lucky one today? I don't Let's think getting a hit. Counts as being a lucky. But that's just my With idea. Me out here? How can we lose? Push forward. Oh god, what is that? That is terrifying. You can't run! High risk individual. Oh. Everything is ordained by the stars. The heck? Okay. The the stars. Give these trailblazers your blessing. Clemency? Never heard of it. I don't remember inviting you. <laughs> Let's go. Take this. I am the time. Oh, okay. Now. Execute Don't execute anybody, please. The truth of life and death revealed in an instant. Get me back her. She might be a little bit annoying, but still. Get me back March. Calculating result. Try that again. Boink. A 
a gift from the stars. This is our chance. Step aside. I have no... Please don't kidnap another the guest one. Was no manners, huh? <laughs> and Rick Crawford from break. Yep. Executing operation. <laughs> Analysis complete. Oh, no way. <laughs> Try hard sometimes. Check out this awesome move. Point. <laughs> Rules are made to be broken. Sure they are. No, it wasn't on to speed. That explains. Yeah. No interest in conflict. We're already at fifteen percent. Calculating result. Module We're getting overload. Module overload. Okay, I'm okay. <laughs> Fighting is meaningless. Like six percent. Executing operation. The truth of life and death. We're almost dying, but also almost making it. Family. Family. Oh my god, that is such a sad part to end on. No, no. Please, please. Please don't hurt Mr. Sparrow. Oh, poor kid. We're just destroying our emotional support robot father figure. Clara. You. Mr. Sparrow can't fight anymore. Please, please don't hurt him. I'm sorry. Claire, Ra. Can Mr. we like Sparrow, help fix him up or something? Don't push yourself any further. Can you tell them what you know? Mr. Sparrow, you said you were willing to make all my wishes come true. Oof. Right? My biggest wish right now Ah, yes, emotional together. manipulation. Good like, job, Clara. Like family. Recently, I learned something new. Calculation results can't always bring people happiness. Even if the world outside the cage isn't beautiful, people still want to know what it's like. Assessment system reset. Successful. Processing variables. Variable one, Clara's request. Variable two, outsider's intentions. Updated assessment result. Transference of decision-making authority to outsiders. Outsiders are granted access to Stellaron intelligence. So, so we did it? Aww. The ghost was too great. Poor dude. Clara seems like the only one who can break through Svarog's cold logic. Yes. It's a good thing she was here. I hope his memory bank really does contain data on the Stellaron. Is this it, Nat? Us? Wildfire? The Underworld? Did... Did we win? No, Zilak. Our battle. Their battle. It's just beginning. Yep. Finally. We finally made it to this point. Uh, what's up? Nervous? <laughs> no. But... I do have an aching feeling in my chest. The truth can be heartbreaking. It's up to you to make your own judgment about who's lying now. I'm ready. Reveal the truth. I'm listening. Half of the Wizard of Oz. 
I have finished collating the Stellaron data and records. Do you wish to proceed? Yes. Outsiders. Requesting database materials cache. Serial number 13175. Encryption level highest. Request approved. Transmission. This is the fruit of many years of research, Madam Guardian. The evidence is irrefutable. This so-called Stellaron is the source of all the destruction. The people will struggle to accept this conclusion, Doctor. If we were to tell them that the almighty Elisa Rand activated this thing and triggered the eternal freeze... It's the truth, Madam. The truth won't change with the opinions of the people. The reports before you are the precious result of painstaking effort on the part of Bellabonk's greatest scholars. You must trust the weight of its conclusion. I have never doubted you, Doctor. On the contrary, I am resolute in the face of this conclusion. From the moment I took up this mantle, that voice, their voice, has made its home in my mind. I cannot shake them. I shouldn't be telling you this. Let's return to your research, Doctor. I'm afraid I cannot make these reports known to the public. Unless... Unless? Unless what? Please, proceed, Madam. Unless you have found a way to completely destroy the Stellaron. I understand. In the name of preservation, I will fulfill this mission. Mm -hmm. Cache number 13175. Transmission complete. Next transmission. Cache number 24830. I don't understand, Doctor. Why do we have to hide such valuable research results away? They're the work of a lifetime. You're, you're still young, child. There will come a day. A day when you do understand. This supreme guardian, she, she sees further than you or I. All her decisions are, are for the security of Malabar. Hmm. I just think it's a shame. Our research has hit an obstacle. Meanwhile, your results will be buried in the snow. <laughs> don't, don't be upset, child. You, you still have lots of time ahead of you. When you find a way to destroy... <coughs> destroy the Stellaron. Poor dude. Cache number 24830. Transmission complete. Next transmission. Cache number 57614. This is... Why is there a robot here? During his life, this was Dr. Mearsheimer's personal robot bodyguard. I heard it's a prototype from the Great War. Since the doctor and his assistants passed away, it's remained here. It hasn't moved an inch. Mm. Oh, I see. Let's start. We must unearth the doctor's research conclusions. All of them. Madam Guardian, I've found them. All the documents are here. Hmm. Good. That'll do. Madam Guardian, what should we do with the robot? Ah. <sighs> It would seem a great waste to destroy it. Find someone to reset its system, and then arrange for it to be sent to the Underworld. I hear that the development group is in need of a robot with defense capabilities. Yes, madam. I'm sorry, doctor. But these results must be taken care of by the architects. One day, somebody will be able to carry out your behest. Cache number 57614. Transmission complete. Concluding data transmission. 
Damn. So the truth is clear now, right? <laughs> I didn't quite understand. Can someone go over it again? No, they were looking for a way to destroy the Stellarum. It appeared that they never succeeded. Mm -hmm. Now only one question remains. Why would Kokolia exhibit such a sudden change in her attitude towards us? Branya, are you okay? I'm, I'm fine. I just Poor feel kids. a little faint. There must be a lot of taken for you. Why, mother? Maybe, maybe she wasn't aware. Maybe she. I'm sorry. It's no use lying to yourself, Branya. It's time for you to make a decision. Hey, can I have a word with you? I know that we'll need time to process this new information. Mm -hmm. We have to decide on our next plan as soon as Fair. possible. Fair. Yes. Listen. Mr. Svarov, are you okay? Let me repair your language module first. Assessing. Language module operating as normal. Thank you, Clara. Aww. Did your memory module get damaged? Maybe I can fix that too. Retrieving memory module. Architect machine error records intact. War of defense combat data intact. Geomero development group error records intact. Record of Clara's crafting of miniature magnetic drill rigs intact. Record of Clara's explanation of human sleeping in behavior Aww. intact. So your memory module is okay. Yes. I have made a backup of all records pertaining to you, Clara. Do not worry. Aww. Even the one about sleeping in? There are multiple backups. I can recover them at any time. This is adorable. Mr. Sparrow, can I delete some of them? <laughs> I cannot grant this request. Records pertaining to you constitute important data, Clara. They must remain intact. They are memories of family. I understand. That's adorable. Mr. Svarok, I still want to help you check a few other modules. Turn around a little. <laughs> That's kids. You wanted to talk to me. The furnace core. The path to the surface is close at hand now. <laughs> Thank you. What you've done has brought new hope to the underworld. Now we have to wait and see. But maybe this will lead to a new lease on life. When the doctor start carrying weapons um, around. <laughs> I haven't been truthful with you. As Wildfire's leader, I couldn't simply look on while you fought on our behalf. Oh. We had to come help. Huh? Huh? So you're the real chief? W what about Oleg? Oleg has always acted on my behalf. He helps me deal with all manner of problems in the underworld. Thanks to him, I'm able to make time for the people. I do my best to make sure that they have everything they need. At the same time, I was formulating a plan to deal with Svarog. Your arrival unraveled that carefully crafted yet rudimentary plan. <laughs> and for that, you have my utmost thanks. You're welcome, all in a day's work of a hero. We did it for us. It wasn't as selfless as you made it out. A person is defined by their actions alone. I think that's how the saying goes. <laughs> if the underworld recovers its freedom, the people will see you as heroes. However, even though Svarog is no longer sealing off the furnace core, there's no way that we undergrounders could go pouring onto the surface. That cold-blooded Supreme Guardian has used lies and tricks to keep the surface separated from the underground. If she detects any change in the underworld, I don't know what she might resort to. Fair enough. As for Wildfire, we need more time to build up our strength. Also fair. 
Uh, it will be difficult for us to defeat the Guardian alone. Of course. There's no doubt about that. So I'll be sending someone I trust to go with you. Not the... No. Zila. Didn't she tell you? In private, she insisted on oh, accompanying okay. me. Don't let her carefree nature fool you. She's actually very discerning and can read a situation like no one else. Fair enough. Zila is a talented scout and a quick thinker. She takes decisive action. She'll definitely be able to help you. Not to mention, you also have Branya now. She got a big shock. You're right. But with Zila by her side, I know she'll recover. Ooh. Hey, when's the last time you got some rest? <laughs> I heard that you've been on your feet looking for Sparog since Rivet Town. Shh. Health is everything. You won't be much use if you neglect yours. We don't need Let sleep. Wildfire take care of the furnace core for now. You head back and recuperate. We don't need sleep. If you're lucky, perhaps tomorrow you can return to the overworld. Ooh. The seriousness of breakfast. Oh, the shadow of destruction. An unwilling host. The tech enemies with physical weakness restores the drill base's CP. Nice. Choice isn't as elusive as it may appear. Uh, oh, and we got the thingy, right? But we also got the achievement. Uh, turn for eight, four turns in a row. Whoops. Defeat the Tin Man and the little girl. So fucking Clara became your friends. Yippee! Great, again, again. I can not do all of them in my free time after stream. Claim all. Claim, claim. I just want the notifications to be gone. Uh, what was I gonna look at? Oh, right, characters. Uh, got a new light gun, but for which one? Oh, hey! Let's switch and enhance. Nice. There we go. Oh, uh, wait, but that was not what I was looking for. The other four star breakfast is important one. Oh, we have two. Oh. Uh, but not anybody who can use them, I think. No, that's fine. Uh. Equilibrium. The universe should be in equilibrium the air seems to heat up suddenly a sticky wind grips you grips your onto your ankles leaving you feeling intuitively uncomfortable i just heard it i should be able to me a quill quillibarium murmurs a low emotional voice another whisper echoes as if it's in many you just heard it i'm not gonna repeat it the yeah, universe should be in equilibrium. Yes. Set equilibrium. The equilibrium. The arbiters of the equilibrium are giving you a trial. And that For goes continued. the continue. equilibrium of all worlds, you must demonstrate your strength. The strong will be given greater opportunities. The weak, a chance to breathe. Passing the trial will prove that your strength has shaken the scales of power. The voice said. Worlds will change, and thus, equilibrium. You will encounter stronger enemies, 
harder puzzles and greater rewards. Mm -hmm. After equilibrium, the voice keeps repeating. You will go on to face yet more trials. Uh, all right then for the equilibrium. Please explain in the human language. The voice does not answer. Is this so-called dynamic difficulty? The voice does not answer. Can I refuse this trial? It trail? is your choice to make. But in the end, equilibrium will be upheld. The voice does not answer after a while. It's your choice to make and it continues. Blah, 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 blah. Get the point. What are the rewards? You will obtain more. The voice said. More of the material. More of the spiritual. More of the countable. More of the immeasurable. What is obtained will be in proportion to your strength. And thus, in equilibrium. All right. The voice repeated. You detect a hint of approval all worlds from the emotional tone. Okay. Yep. Let's go do that now. Let's start. Yes. That was what I was planning on doing. That was legit the whole reason for the stream to unlock this. So let's go. That's no, no need, no need to heal up first. But there we go. Start challenge. I did not look at anything I needed, but okay. Okay, this one. Huh? Crash now or crash later? Damn it! Freeze. I was. Terrible at aiming. Let's just ignore that. Move carefully. No. <laughs> My turn. Your turn. <laughs> Here. Let's go. Wink. Rude. That one is on like a sliver of health. You can't run. Rules are made to be broken. Bink. Gotta try hard sometime. Watch this awesome move. Bink. No manners, huh? Who will it be? Everything is working. Oh, stars, give these trailblazers oh, your blessing. Wait. Yeah. Try now. Again. Who invited you? Nobody invited huh? them. Well, technically, Time we invaded its me. home. No interest in conflict. No interest in conflict. Fighting is meaningless. Then. The truth of life and death. The sanctuary is but a vision. Break! Who invited you? Who will it be? Who will it be from like the one thing that is there? Oh, he's not gonna survive. Yeah. 
Okay, that's one. You couldn't have done it without me. He totally could have. Uh do I have like healing stuff or something, right? The provide a boost. Click on okay. Auto use. Nice. Sure, why not? <laughs> not completely what I was thinking about, though. Do we have healing? Something else than healing. Because this this heals more. I should have done that, are you? Yeah. I just put it on auto use because otherwise I'm just not gonna use it. I know myself too well. We need a strategy. Boink. Move carefully. The truth of life and death. The sanctuary is but sufficient. But official no manners, huh? <laughs> Tough luck running into me. <laughs> you. <laughs> no, don't. You can't run. Gotta try hard sometime. Watch this awesome move. Watch this awesome move. No interest in conflict. My turn. Sure, whatever. Yeah. Boom. Those two are gone. One remaining. Please, none of you die. Made to be broken. Oh, I made to be broken. Blink. Who will it be? Blink. Yippee. Equilibrium. The worlds are already changing. For equilibrium reigns supreme. Rest assured. The trial of the equilibrium will find. As its voice falls, everything returns to normal. Nice! Played it! Exit. Oh hey, now there's a flower. It's a Kaliox again, and it seems to be slightly different from what I've seen before. I better send another message to Mr. Yang then. Find another <laughs> new mutation. Yes, remember I mentioned there are many different kinds of Kali access, and the reality data stores in many vary. Remember to be thoroughly prepared before you make physical contact with them. It's not going to be worth it if you get yourself hurt. Boink. Yeah, that's going to be a while before I'm going to do that one. Hmm. Ah, okay, got a new one, got it. Heal me. Oh, more messages. I will just keep those until next time, you know? Ah, uh, you know, I'm kinda into it, let's just continue. Getting late. Where to now? That way. Ah, well, now that we're
we're done with that whole situation in the underworld, we can finally look for the Stellaron. Yay. <sighs> but thinking about it, I feel a bit bad about Clara. We promised her that our talks with Sparog would go peacefully. Wasn't only our fault. Sorry, I wasn't able to pursue. You tried your best. Me. Don't blame yourself. I should have considered such a situation in advance. And it was Svarog who attacked first. Yeah. We didn't have any other choice. Yeah. Uh, I didn't mean for you guys to start beating yourselves up over it. Look on the bright side. Things turned out all right, didn't they? Now I'm everyone sure. knows that the real problem here is the Stellaron, and they're willing to help us out. All in all, the mission is going super smoothly. Ah! But we still have a lot. You call to this smoothly? Out. For instance, mm. who is this Sempo character? No, where is the exactly. Stellaron? Exactly. We don't even have the Stellaron's coordinates and location. Kokolia's sudden change in attitude is also very curious. We still haven't put all of the pieces together. Mm -hmm. Actually, I've been having some dreams. dreams? <laughs> oh, I remember you mentioned something about strange dreams before. Can I just say, by the way, they are discussing all this in a public place. This is like the worst place to discuss these things. Telling Dong Ha Jung Dam Dam March 7th. Why is it so quick? All three dreams were the same. With Kokolia and that other voice. Other voices. But yes. It would be weird to call it a coincidence. I'm wondering if these dreams aren't just random. If there is some meaning behind them. Huh. Maybe you're having them because Because? Because of the Stellaron inside her? That's my hunch. Fair enough. I have no proof. Oh, well, then that's as good as nothing for now. So, what should we do when we get back above ground? After all this talk, we're still back at square one. I we saw say the puzzle one piece beat at a everyone time. up. Let's get some rest. We'll talk to Wildfire tomorrow and get to the bottom of this. Fine. Also, there's still one more key character we haven't talked to yet. Her connection to Kokolia may be the key to cracking this mystery. Gertie! Ah, you're back. How did it go? Are you tired? How did Oleg treat you? He was nice to us. My legs are so sore after running around the whole day. Ha! With great power comes great <laughs> responsibility! Well, you must be exhausted after running around all day. Take a rest in your room. I will bring food over when it's ready. You are very nice. Hi, ah, you're welcome. Uh, uh, we are all friends now. Like you're staying at the Gurthy Ho Grand Hotel. Oh, I almost forgot. How did you find the bed and pillow? What were... Uh, what was... What about the temp room temperature? Is the Geomarth furnace working fine? If you need anything, please let me know. We would like to have a rest. I filled out the sur uh, surfing's raining cart. Really? That's great. I didn't expect a busy bee to l like you to have time. Thanks a lot, really. I will take that then. Thanks a lot, Glitch. Your opinion is highly regarded and your feedback will definitely help improve the quality of our service in the boutique. This boutique hotel. But yeah, go ahead and have these. And I don't take no for an answer. They're just small things that uh, have been building up around here. And I haven't been able to give them away. Hope we'll see you next time. Aha! Praise of high morals. Welcome yeah, okay. Welcome to the Gerda Grand Hotel. Yeah, let's You're take a rest. Back. I've heard from Wildfire that you helped resolve that whole situation with Svarog. Amazing. It must have been exhausting. Please have some food and get a good night's rest. Will do. Oh, good. To get some sleep. Oh, I cannot even write this time. I can only rest. 
Wave of tiredness comes with you, reminds you that you haven't rested in a long time. Even the most terrible dream won't wake you up this time. Sure about that? Over there. See that? That used to be the worst street in Rivet Town. And it's also where I grew up. My friends and I used to wander those streets, thinking about where to find our next meal. That is, until Chief Oleg got me out and took me to the orphanage. There, I learned to read and write from Natasha. At the age of 10, I started to patrol the mines with Oleg, occasionally getting into fights with the local thugs. Oh, that sounds nice. Nice? Are you being sarcastic with me? Oh, no, sorry. Life in the underworld is difficult. I shouldn't be speaking about it so lightly. Ugh. You're always so serious. It really gets on people's nerves sometimes, you know? <laughs> uh, right. Uh, what I meant was... Uh, I kind of envy you, Zila. For as long as I can remember, my days have been an endless cycle of studying, etiquette lessons, and training. Every day, all I hear is, Remember who you are, Bronya. This is against the Architect's admonishments, Branya. Ladies shouldn't use such foul language, Branya. <laughs> <laughs> Some may envy this kind of life, but I have felt trapped. When every choice and every goal has already been made for you. <laughs> Probably can't imagine how that feels. No, I can't. But more importantly... What kind of foul language are you using? <laughs> <sighs> In the name of the architects, I shall stick this spear into your nostril. <laughs> 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 that's it? <laughs> oh, that's nothing. Looks like I'll have to teach you some underworld slang before you go back. <laughs> no. No, that won't be necessary. <laughs> It'll be better than poking people's nostrils, at least. <sighs> I never thought that I'd be here having a heart-to-heart -heart with the future Guardian. As a kid, I didn't meet many people who lived in the overworld. I only heard stories from the grown-ups and figured you were all just a bunch of cold snobs. I've heard from some Silver Mane veterans that... Before the orders were made to seal off the underworld from the overworld, there was no difference between the two places. Everybody ate the same food, chatted about the same topic, celebrated the same festivals. Even though times are different now, things like the joys and sorrows of life, the ties between people, these precious things must certainly still connect us all. There is a way to bridge the gap between the two worlds. We can definitely go back to the time when you and I were not divided. When we could stand side by side against the eternal freeze and the fragmentum. <laughs> I'm not like you. I don't have that many grand plans for the future. But if that's the future you want, I'm willing to build this bridge with you. Aww. Thank you, Zila. Your trust is... Very important to me. Speaking of which, um, what are you going to do next? What Svarog revealed must have made quite an impact, huh? Yes. I thought I was prepared for anything, but... As long as I am the Guardian's successor, those truths will come out sooner or later. But why does my mother hide it from me and... Why does she want me to hunt down the outsiders who know about the nature of the Stellaron? It just... It doesn't Mind make control. sense. Misguidance. A lot of things. one thing I can do. Go ask her directly. You... Hold on. You're not really going, are you? A alone? You can't. This plan is... No, no, no. Don't go alone. I've already thought it through, Zila. I am Madame Kokolia's daughter. That will never change. Be it my duties as her heir or as a Silvermane guard, I must face my problems head on. 
Even if... You're not allowed to die. Brian, I'm not gonna I... allow it. <laughs> Don't go to your mom alone. I think she might just actually kill you. Please help me pass it on to the outsiders. If... If I am unable to see you again, they'll know what to do. You... Okay, I understand. You've made up your mind, and there's nothing I can say that will change it. But remember this. If you run into trouble, I will come to save you, no matter what. Okay, that's good at least. Then I'll be waiting for you. No. <laughs> so, did you come to this spot when you were a child? Of course. I just didn't appreciate how nice it was at the time. Very nice. <laughs> They're cute. I still don't like the plan of her going alone, though. <sighs> that was a good sleep. Huh. I should go meet up with March and Den Hong. Took you long enough, sleepyhead. We've been waiting all day. I've noticed that our sleep routines don't match up. You either keep getting up in the middle of the night or snoozing away until the day's almost out. Unacceptable. <laughs> you gotta work on your teamwork. No. Hmm. Did you have a dream again last night? No. Not this time. So that's why you slept for so long. Just be happy I was able to sleep. Let's go find Wildfire to discuss her next move and see if they have any new discoveries. Let's go. I can't wait to finally get back above ground. Fair enough. We have plenty of time. <laughs> Oh, look who's here. Me! It's the Bane of Sparag, the big hero of the underworld. <laughs> and the other big heroes, Dan Hung and March 7. Were those lines rehearsed? <laughs> Where's Natasha? Is she here? She has a bunch of other things to attend to. So I hope you don't mind talking about Oh, yeah, to this the dude whose mouse doesn't move. Instead. I speak on behalf of Natasha. By the way, sorry for keeping that whole thing about her being the actual leader of Wildfire yeah, secret. don't care. <laughs> hmm. It doesn't matter. I'm glad you don't mind. Natasha is always cautious, but she has no ill intent, as you surely have noticed. She told me to make sure you return to the overworld safely. I gave it some thought, and I think the safest way is to ask this fellow for Not again. I don't I trust you it. down. I can take you back up. Free of charge. Fine. Satisfaction guarantee. <laughs> There's no need to knock us out this time, right? Of course not. This time, we'll go back through the furnace core. Just tell us the path you used before. That would be problematic and dangerous. Trust me. We I just want to know how we got course. down here, okay? Ugh, enough chatter. Just be a good guide. Hold on. What about Branya? Why isn't she here? She already went back, as you know. She has some things to settle with the Supreme Guardian. What? She just ditched us and went back? How could you let her? She has her own plan. She left it at Sampo. Ugh, enough about Sampo. <laughs> we need him for this trip. Fine. We can still get rid of him after we reach the surface. Okay, deal. Miss Sila. I'm still here, you know. For now. Oh, right. Branya told me to give you this. She left us a letter. Hmm. 
Could this be one of those open in case of emergency letters? I've never gotten one of those before. Should we wait until we run into something dangerous? No. Stop overthinking and just open it. Glitch March Danghang. By the time you read this letter, I should have returned to the overworld and be on my way to see my mother. I apologize for not telling you uh, of my plan. I was afraid that you were strongly object, which may might sway my resolve. N Madame Kukolia raised me up, and I will never be able to repay her kindness. She taught me countless life lessons and virtues, as well as how to defend Bolabog and its people. Even though she has lately made certain decisions that puzzled me, I can't let go of all the precious memories I have with her. I must communicate my point of view and thoughts to her honestly, and seek to arrive at a mutual understanding with her. This is my goal as a daughter, but also my duty as a Silverman guard. But I am aware of the risk I might face on this journey. So if I fail to win my mother's approval, or if something happens to me, please forward this letter to Landol siblings and ask for their help. Serval and G Gepard are honorable pe people with enormous power in Bellabog, and I have complete faith in them. If sure they, I'm sure they will unreservedly help you in search for the Celeron once they see my seal and handwriting. Brother and sister Landau. I know the brother must refer to Gepard, but who could the sister be? Oh, Sir Val! So she's Japard's older sister. I hope nothing happens to Runya. She gave it some good thought. But whatever's going on in that Supreme Guardian's head... Even Branya might have trouble understanding. She's Sebo, also gonna be wearing wedged. Do you know the Landau siblings? Landau? Uh, yeah, we're all friends. I've mostly dealt with the younger brother in the past, but the sister? <laughs> She's much scarier. Uh, today's supposed to be a day of celebration, so let's not talk about it right now. Oh, God. We I can don't. set out at any time. Just come find me when you're ready. Yeah, let's go. Never mind, let's... Wait, no, I was level 23, right? Mm -hmm. Ooh. Ooh, we can fight. Got the recipe. Nice. That's probably what it's asking us to unlock here. Yep. Why does it require trash? Okay. Uh why this isn't important, this is just yeah. Sure. Simons, let's just honestly. Hmm. Claim and ditch passes again. Claim and ditch pass. This special dish. But up there again. Nameless honor. Yippee. Uh, wait, we're too low level if I remember correctly, right? Yeah. Um, let's do this one again, I guess. It's getting late. Where to now? Do the daily quests. <laughs> uh, it's bad, 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 bad. 
So what? Oh wait, wasn't this the exact same thing as last time? Keep at it. Oh, I didn't mean to press E. Well, uh, never mind. And outside we go. Come around and have a look. This is gonna be exactly the same question. At least now I know the answer and the reasoning. So like, <laughs> wrong person. Blah 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 blah. You test me. Ooh, a different one. The Bellavok Academy has discovered a new invasive species of algae. It can double itself in just one day, and it in just thirty days fills a whole reservoir. Uh, contaminating the water supply. How many days would it take for it to fill half the reservoir? Mm. I remember this. Uh, 29 days, if I remember. Okay, I remember that I got the same question in one of my science classes once. I know there's this like calculation things you can make, but you can also just think logically in this case, because it doubles itself every day in just 30 days. It fills the whole reservoir Two. and it doubles. So in one day, so if you pick half the reservoir, it's 29 days. It's not difficult. <laughs> 31 days. What happens? They all die again. 29. What an intelligence. I'm so smart. I know. <laughs> they got dancing, right? Come around. Honestly, they should have picked trickier answers. Well, 15, sure, but like 31. Please pick like. 25 or something. There you go. And there it goes. I tried. Yeah. It is bizarre, yeah. There we go. Uh, next quest. Which one to do? Let's just start from the top with adventure mission. We, I know what we can do. We can just go do, wait, because how far along? We only need a little bit more of XP. So what we can do is we can just go to uh, the, 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 the VR, not VR, the kind of thing. What was it again? I don't remember. Where's the map? I don't know. Go. This is. Uh, there we go. Let's go. S simulated universe. Uh, both changes. Sure. Sure. Say them out loud to me. You have zero manners. Firstly, Steven has made significant adjustments to the gameplay loop. According to him, the objective of each phase is cl even clearer. I don't really get it. Oh my god, it's on this one. Whoops. Um, I don't really get it. Just because I'm a genius doesn't mean I understand the gaming. So whatever he says goes. This version offers a higher deg degree of freedom. You can mix and match your team, choose from a variety of blessings, and there are even random events to guarantee you, you earn a unique experience every time. Finally, there's a new mechanic that helps you to better pretend to be a Quivili. 
Voila, the official simulated universe. The real game begins now. The official game contains multiple explorable worlds with progressive difficulty. All the fun features will be gradually unlocked. Look here, you earn e points each time you clear a stage. A few point rewards. It's the reward for the last two clears are already there. Ward points will be refreshed weekly. Got it. So I will play until this to the day. Because <laughs> I got 11 hours left. Ward 1. I'm sure you will find some new stuff you have never seen before. Sure. First time clearing rewards, yeah. Okay. How many worlds do we have? Eight. Okay. Oh, heard a store. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh. I have no idea what this is, but sure. Oh, and this is just the index. Yeah, okay. Let's explore the world. Download initial characters. Mm-hmm. Boop, boop, boop. No. Boop, boop, boop. There we go. Uh... Technically, I should add others to the team, but I don't wanna, so I don't care. Let's go. Exploring the simulated universe. Uh, cosmic fragments can be obtained. 50 f cosmic fragments are gifted at the start of each exploration. Uh, sure. But, uh, sure, let's go with the one blessing star thing, I guess. Uh, when a character launches a follow up attack, they restore HP. Follow up attacks, crit rate increases. Let's just go with the freeze thing, because why not? Too late oh to my repent. God, you almost instantly died, didn't you? <laughs> Great. That was not difficult at all. Okay. Blessings that have not been unlocked have been marked to help you collect them. How nice of you. Mm hmm. Uh, I don't think I need to collect anything here, so let's just... Ooh. Uh, break objects. Restore IP. Okay. Good to know. Boink! Fighting. There's no nice point in trying to fight this on my own, or with like my own strength, because like, it barely takes anything. When a character launches a follow-up attack, uh, damage taken by frozen enemies increased. So in the next one attack will receive a guaranteed crit. Sure. Boink. The boink. Hello. What's <laughs> up? Okay. Oh stars, give these trailblazers your blessing. After a use it, their ultimate, a random enemy gains ice weakness. Let's go next. We need a strategy. Boink. This will strengthen our position. 
Move carefully. This one I will try and fight on my own because I'm uncertain how good the pe the the, the automatic Are thing made to will be broken. Be. Because like isn't it a strong enemy? I believe this is a stronger enemy. Gotta try hard some watch this awesome move. Push. Yeah. Boink. Okay, that wasn't that difficult. Um, weakness they associate the frozen enemy apply this. Uh, I have no clue what any of this means, so let's just go. No, I'm supposed to think logical and all that stuff, but nobody needs to know. Tone loader. What was this again? I forgot. Oh, right. I can act put in an extra character, I think. Or something like that. I don't remember. Hi. Heart as puppets appears in the simulated universe. Have I only communicated with you via voice before? It's a little surprising to see her manifest like this. Manifesting like this. She looks at you expressionless. This is the resting area. Give you a place to catch your breath in the otherwise, otherwise scary simulated universe. We hope you can restore your health, resurrect your team, buy equipment and enhance your blessings here. Heard I say irresponsibly. You can enhance blessings with me. And then... As for the other functions, you can find them in the room itself. Enhanced blessings. Mm -hmm. uh, I heard that it applies flippantly. Uh, as the game master, I can make your blessings stronger or even make earth shattering changes to them. The price of paying cosmic fragments. That's the point in collecting those otherwise. Now let's begin. Open the hand screen. Obtain blessings here. Blessing will become stronger after enhancing that you pay for it. Uh, require to enhance blessing. Each blessing can only be enhanced once. Uh. I don't really need it, I think. I'm quite powerful at the moment. Maybe I'm making a dumb choice. Let me just quickly look something up, I guess. Hmm. Oh. Wait, what was it called? Enhanced something, right? Already forgot. Oh god. But enhanced blessings. Enhanced blessings. Uh. You know what, I give up. That's just... Class one of these. Let's just go with the strongest one and not care. Maybe I'll make a mistake and I will hear that later. Let's go. You don't see me. I'm not here. No. See? Nothing to worry about. So, what was your weakness again? Okay. 
Come on, it is kind of stupid no to just conflict. forget someone exists. You know? Scared yet? Who will it be? <laughs> Let's make it quick. One. You can't run. Uh, try that again. Boink. Boink. Let's go. Boink. Wow, oh, what a strong battle. Uh, ba -ba -ba. Come across when they fall to low health from characters attack. Sure. Wee! Imagine just casually walking around and suddenly you hear wee and I get hit on the back of your head. Are made to be broken. That sounds kind of terrifying, to be honest. No manners, huh? <laughs> Let's make it quick. Yeah. Quick. Hmm. Mm. Ooh, ha. fine. Free. Boink. Fighting is meaningless. Very dramatic. Who invited you? Nobody <laughs> invited me. Tough luck running into me. Try hard sometimes. Boink. Watch this awesome move. The truth of life and death is sanctuary. Wait. It's but a vision. Break. We. <laughs> no clue what's happening anymore. Uh, increase effect hit rate or whatever. Memories. Look at me. I don't know what that means, but sure. Oh, help. Uh, eh? Go get closer to the picture frame. Time to try something new. Okay. Whoa. You see a man about 30 years old with an unremarkably, um, unremarkable appearance. Wearing a white shirt and brown suspenders. His eyes wander while he speaks as if avoiding something. Uh, I wanted to add some random events to this game to make it more fun. But I uh, think the brainwave reader is on the fritz. So uh, now the events you encounter will be a little more monotonous. Sorry about that. How planned will they be? Like he stutters without looking at the you. Like, uh, this is a random event now. I wrote some templates, but the simulation currently doesn't have any way of converting them into content, so you will just see the following. After speaking, the man disappears, and the line of words materialized where he was standing. You have encountered a random event. Select. Obtain some cosmic fragments. Obtain one random blessing. You don't need this. The urge to click when you don't need this. I want to know what it does. I don't need this. Do nothing. Uh, yeah, that's how monotones. The man says he's genuinely sorry. All right, I understand. How will it be fixed? Hopefully very soon, the man says earnestly. I really wanted to ha you to have a good time, really. Uh, once again, I'm really sorry about that. Finish. Okay. <laughs> Don't care. You encountered Herda and caring as she looks at you expressionless. Congratulations, well done on getting here. Heard our response carelessly. You can use up all your cosmic fragments here to enhance your blessings. You won't get another chance to use them otherwise. Sure. Uh. 
yeah, sure. There we go. Let's go. We. Move carefully. No. Despite, I'm not gonna move carefully at all. Who am I lifting? <laughs> Rules are made to be broken. Boink. Yeah, 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 fighting is meaningless, I know. I say that all the time. Let's make it quick. Wait. <laughs> the truth of life and death, revealed in the sanctuary, is but a vision. Quick! Blink. Oh yeah, that that one is gone. Nice. Just this one has to follow now. My turn. Yeah. No manners, huh? Rules are made to be broken. Bigger boink. Huh? Biggest boink. Oh, I thought that was enough to make it. Okay, it was. You World couldn't completed. have done it without me. Sure. Whoop. Nice. How's your experience with the official version? Is it easy to find? Can you go challenge the... If you find it easy, you can go challenge the next one. Apparently it's more difficult with stronger enemies. Scrollum said that according to his model, you have 60 chance of losing the first time. But it's not like you will actually lose anything. It's clear... You will clear it sooner or later. Are you folks really here to research eons? What are you talking about? Our goals haven't changed. Now run off and get ready. Sure, sure, sure. Bonds for items here. Take what you need. Sure, will do. Yippee. I should probably level up my car. Ooh, never mind. We can continue with the main story right now. It's getting late. Where's he now? Wait, I'm running completely the wrong way. Never mind. Time to return to the surface. Yippee. You so, my friends, are you ready to head out? Yes. Let's go. Wonderful. Remember to bring enough food and drink to refuel on the way. We have a lot of steps to climb. Sure. Mother. I have returned. Rania, I thought I thought I'd lost you. Where were you? Are you are you hurt? I'll fetch the butler right away. Yeah. No, there's no need. I don't want to see Sebas right now. Sorry, mother. I I'm fine, really. I just got into a few skirmishes down in the underworld, but nothing I couldn't handle. The underworld. Oh, I see. In that case, report everything you saw, Commander Branya. Huh. After the failed pursuit at Backwater Pass, the wanted outsiders and I were somehow taken to the underworld. Can I just say that immediate switch from very worried mother to you will now listen to me and you're my commander officer like, no, it's still your daughter. How can you change that quickly? 
Because of the difficult situation we were in, we formed a temporary alliance to help the residents of the underworld resolve a few issues of survival. We also defeated an ancient robot known as Svarog and learned some truths about the Stellaron. Oh, she's gonna be I'm pissed. Listening. Go on. Madam Kakolia. it is my firm belief that the visitors from beyond the sky are not the villains we had imagined before. I witnessed them take up arms in the name of justice and risk their lives for the sake of others. I can also ascertain that they did come for the Stellaron, but only to relieve the disaster it has brought upon Bellabog. Mother, you've always known the truth about the Stellaron, haven't you? Well, the responsibility of bearing that truth will fall upon me one day. Such is the burden of being guardian, to carry these secrets for eternity. So, I ask you yeah. to forgive my defiance. I believe that the order to dispatch the Outsiders was a mistake. To solve the problems brought on by the Stellaron, the Architects waited hundreds of years. And those Outsiders may be the... the... Get up! No, she's pissed. <sighs> Arrogant. Ignorant. Oh, you disappoint Ooh. me, Branya. You merely glimpsed the tip of the iceberg. And now you think you know everything. You spend a short time with that underworld scum. And suddenly you have the audacity to question my orders. Oh no. Guards! Take Branya. Huh? <gasps> they are not scum. My entire life. Everything you ever kept from me. I remember it clearly now. This time. This time, I am standing my ground, Madam Guardian. And please, stop dismissing me with vague excuses. Mm. Tell me what you have seen. What exactly it is you are hiding. Why do you send the Silvermane guards to die in the Fragmentum? Why have you abandoned the people of the Underworld? And why? Why did you have that sudden change of mind? Huh. I see. I knew this moment would come sooner or later. I just didn't expect it would be so soon. You want to know why I gave those orders? Is that right? Do you believe you're ready to learn the truth? Yes. No, not I really. Ready. But let's go. Mother. Then come with me, Bronya. It is time you heard it. The voice of this dying world. Oh no. Everything is fine, I just dropped my phone. Ah, we're finally back. I forgot what fresh air tasted like. Hum, 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 hum. Don't eat the air, please. What flavor is it? Freedom. Freedom. <laughs> the taste of freedom. A cold. <sighs> Mainly cold, actually. Let's go. <laughs> Where's our next stop? We should find somewhere to put our feet up. As long as it's not Goethe Hotel again. Classic unreliable uh. sample. He probably guessed we'd ask where his hiding place was. No sooner are we back in the administrative district than he sneaks off. Mm hmm. Home is where the artists. Back to the express. <laughs> Where's your sense of loyalty? Um, <laughs> that would be nice, though. Don Hung, what do you think? I think it'd be best to pay a visit to Serval Land. Fine. So you think we should avoid Jepard for the time being, right? He's an elite officer of the Silvermane Guards. It wouldn't be easy to get to him. Besides, if he hasn't been persuaded by Branya's letter, we'd be walking right into the lion's den. 
Fair enough. Mm, makes sense. Guess we better head over to Sir Ball's workshop then? Yes. Let's go. But we must keep a low profile. We're still wanted fugitives. Fine, I will not flirt with the trash cans. Wrong, Nothing. It's just a little new. The last time I was on the surface, I was still a child. I have no memory of any of this. Valid. The overworld and the underworld. We've we've been cut off for so long. I'm okay. Let's go. There are so many Silvermane guards on patrol. Is it usually like this? No. I don't remember the security being this tight last time. It might have something to do with us. The Supreme Guardian has probably learned of our arrival already. <laughs> Ranya. This looks extremely alike. Just like me. I accept this. This is what I draw myself. There's an ex Firstly, a bridal part of a terrible, or rather a wanted poster. Figure the picture is prominently grayish white and darkness and looks straight at you with a sense of lukewarm likeness in their eye. Couple with the structure that appeared to be a hand gripping a baseball, baseball ball bat, it's instantly clear whom the figure refers to. You decided to peel it off the wall for the sake of Bellabog and for your own sake. Huh. Got my unwanted poster. Yippee! We. Shop closed today. You'll have to come back tomorrow. It's radiator fi fixers. The best. It's radiator fixers. Ah, huh? uh, I remember the three outsiders. Wait, why are you still strolling around the city? <laughs> Thank you. You're nice. All right, you'll be safe here. My workshop has pretty good soundproofing, and barely anyone comes in. Just what crime did you commit exactly? Nothing existing apparently. You down. It's unprecedented. Now they're patrolling the whole city, and everyone's in a panic. Fair enough. Oh, we just. Not yet, March. Rania said we could trust you completely. You mean to say you don't trust me completely? We trusted someone and we got arrested. Or tried to be Good. arrested. That's smart of you. But you needn't worry. Kokolia and I aren't even on speaking terms. It was her that ejected me from the architects. I refuse to stand with her. Fair enough. I don't believe you guys would do anything bad. And the architects are going to need conclusive and publicly available evidence for me to think otherwise. Besides, I know the architects, and if they did have any evidence, they would have released it by now. I know Kokolia's style. Get everyone into a frenzy first. Most people in a frenzy don't stop to ponder the details. Mm, fair enough, fair enough. What details have you been pondering? Me? None. What Kokolia and the architects get up to has nothing to do with me. My time fair is enough. too precious for pondering. Good. These days I just spend my time fixing things in this workshop and playing music. It's a pretty carefree existence. Sounds like a nice life. If I'm not careful, I'll start boring you all with sob stories from the past. Let's get back to you guys. If long lost Branya told you to come here, you must have something important to tell me. You can trust me. I know our paths have only crossed once before, but my intuition tells me you guys are good people. And I've got good intuition, by the way. <laughs> sure. And, mm. You may as well tell the long and short of it from the start to finish. Ooh, I'm the best storyteller. Let me, let me. 
Sure. Go uh, ahead. Try not to embellish the facts. This <laughs> is... Telling Sephiroth on your, uh, about your time in the Underworld and what you know of the Stellar World and that so far as I got. So that's what's been happening. No wonder we hadn't heard from Branya recently. <sighs> After all these years in isolation and with not a single word from below, this is what's become of the Underworld? Yep. I believe you. There's no way you could have invented all those twists and turns. What's more, we have Miss Zila here as living proof. As for the Stellaron, <sighs> I know why Branya got you to find me. Ooh. When I was still one of the architects working in the scientific research division, I was researching the Stellaron. Ooh! Wait. I never thought I'd hear that word again after being expelled by the architects. <sighs> Come on, I'll tell you everything. You are telling me we could have cut the case very short just asked you and you would have told us we did all of this for nothing okay Ugh. tell the story Only very few people in bellabog know of the existence of the stellaron those that do would never associate it with the fragmentum or eternal freeze but according to the data recorded in that robot, Spara, the architects dug out the truth long ago. The research results were purposely hidden away to ensure that the outside world would never know of them. Just my luck. Out of all the research topics I could have chosen, I insisted on the Stellaron. It's clear now that anyone who wanted to get closer to the truth would have been expelled or abandoned. Maybe I should be thanking Kakolia. All she did was push me out. She could have decided to take a more permanent measure. Fair enough. How much do you know about Stellaron? I figured out that the Stellaron and the Fragmentum were linked, so I was already close to the truth. It's a shame that the Architects ejected me before I could discover that the source of the Fragmentum was the Stellaron itself. Mm -hmm. Before I lost my position, I was applying for permission to survey the Stellaron directly. It was my research topic, but I'd never even set eyes on it. My research was all based on historical data and lab simulations. Not long after I submitted my preliminary report and application, I received my punishment. It was obvious that somebody didn't want my research to continue. Do you know what Kukulia's end goal is? Kukulia. Kukulia. It's been so many years since we last spoke. We were great friends once. There was nothing we wouldn't share. She became a completely different person when she took on the Supreme Guardianship. The convictions she once held, her enthusiasm... It was like they were drawn out of her by some mysterious force. She gave the order to expel me herself, and refused to see me. I never understood that behavior, and I gave up trying to use logic to work it out a long time ago. Sometimes I even wonder whether she really did become a different person. Is that possible? Perhaps there's a single guardian consciousness that gets handed down from generation to generation. And the real Kokolia has already vanished. Kinda? Here goes. Is she being compelled by previous generations of guardians to make such baffling decisions? <sighs> Who knows? But this might make for a good songwriting material. <laughs> ah, yes. A true songwriter. Put all your trauma into songs. Can I talk about Jepard? <laughs> Jepard? Not a chance. He's a decent guy, but also famously uncompromising. For my brother, orders are more important than anything. Even if you stuck Branya's letter to his forehead, he wouldn't be swayed. Fair enough. You need to choose your words carefully if you want to persuade him of something. Nah, yeah, we're terrible at that. We just learned that. I talk to him. Though, I'd need a strategy first. So, no, you know where the Stellaron is. Yes. I never observed it directly, but 
I used lab simulations and outbound surveys to establish a rough location. According to the survey results, the Stellaron is likely to the north of Bellabog, somewhere in the vast snow plains. Let's go! Must located as soon as possible, ideally before Kokoria takes action. Can you tell us the way? <laughs> Not a problem. I was thinking the same thing. But I'm afraid telling you might not be enough. The area to the north of Bellabog has been more or less swallowed up by the Fragmentum. If you want to get to the northern snow plains, you'll need to get past the Silvermane Guard restricted zone on the front lines first. Even if you get past the restricted zone in one piece, you'll have a whole heap of Fragmentum to deal with. Um. Yes. They're stick to That's them. where the main force of the Silvermane Guards is stationed. They've consolidated their position there in order to resist the encroaching Fragmentum. It sounds like the three of us and Zila might not be enough. Why don't we go back underground and get Wildfire to come with us? I fear we may not have the time. Hey, enough pessimism. Back in my official capacity days, I spent a lot of time yeah. in the north. I got to know the soldiers and officers on the front line very well. This calls for brain waves, not brawn waves. How about I take you over myself? Yes. Really? Great. Phew. Less scary if someone you know is leading the way. <laughs> I want to see the Stellaron too, you know. It was my research topic for over a decade. Look at me, I'm as a walking Stellaron. That's settled then. There's no time to lose. We should head out as soon as you're ready. Let's go. D uh, darn it. I forgot my brother said he'd be around today. Oh no. Find somewhere to hide. Quick. I'll handle him. Oh no. Depard! It's you! I didn't think you'd have the time to visit with things so tense on the front line. <laughs> You're terrible at this. Things are manageable. The latest wave of monster attacks has slowed. I'm back in the city to take care of a few matters, but I'll be back on the front line later. I thought I told you. Ah! Oh, yes. That's right. Sis... You look a bit pale. Did something happen? N no. Why would anything have happened? You don't normally use my full name. Uh, you said you hate it when I call you bro in public. Well, I agreed. It'd sound better if I started using your full name. Right, Brosif? You can call me whatever you like. Look, Serval, I'm here on official business today. There's something wrong with the barrier generator device, and the engineers in our unit don't know how to fix it. I need you to take a look. Yippee. Those guys can't think outside the box. Of course they can't wrap their heads around my design. <sighs> I thought it was something big. Leave it here. I'll take a look. Sorry to trouble you. No worries. Why are you being so polite? Oh, and why is the city under curfew all of a sudden? Has something happened? I... I've been instructed to keep it quiet. Lil Jeffy. So grown up now, looking down on his civilian sister. Don't say that. Ah, forget it. If I don't tell you, Pela will. Last night, Lady Bronya suddenly appeared. She entered Klopoth Fort without saying anything to anyone. The Supreme Guardian is worried that the three intruders may have followed Bronya out of the Fragmentum and back into the Administrative District. She issued a curfew for the entire city and ordered us to That's pursue and capture fun. any suspicious individuals. Ah, so that's how it is. No wonder I haven't heard from Bronya. Is she alright? I'm not sure. She hasn't left Klopoth Fort. The Supreme Guardian just said she'd returned. Nothing more. 
And like that we're legit standing around the corner, like, come on. He should have been it. Who should be able to see that? She said she barely had time to go out. She really does tell you everything. Oh, by the way, I left my Goethe Hotel limited edition flask behind last time I was here. Let me have a look for it. I think I left it over. Wait. Mm -hmm. What is it? You seem pretty off today, Serval. It's Does she? um right. You remember how you neglected all those flowers to death? I piled them all over there during a bit of spring cleaning and now they smell terrible. So don't go over there. Seems like a strange reason not to take a look. Plus, am I supposed to believe you were spring cleaning? You must be up to more forbidden research. <laughs> uh, am not? How dare you? What do you take your sister for? Never Someone who would obviously this do that. This is your space, and I shouldn't intrude. I've got business to take care of. Bye for now. This is uh, great. Hey, wait a sec. Uh, those intruders. I wanted to ask. What crime have they committed? They're plotting to overthrow the architects and bring harm to the city. Oh, damn. Huh. Reminds me of the accusations against me. Kokolia's methods haven't changed. Don't say that, Serval. I know that you're still nursing a grievance against the Supreme Guardian. But this isn't a joking matter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You're telling me off again? Fine. Whatever, bro. You better be going. Come listen to Pela in my next rehearsal. I will, if I have the time. We will make time for you. By destroying everything you care about. The coast is clear. You can come out now. Okay, now we go. device was that <laughs> I almost lost my cool when he went for his flask this is bad wrong is in danger we have to go save her yes let's go to storm Klipoth fort by ourselves forget it Zila. I don't care how skilled you are I'm not sending you on a suicide mission okay. rest assured Kokolia may have changed over the years but she never hurt Branya <laughs> I'm certain of that sure I'm also very you sound certain. Like Branya herself. I don't get it. You guys are against Kokolia, and yet in some ways, you seem to trust her completely. Is Jabart going to the Silverman Guard restricted zone? Didn't you hear him? Oh. He said he needs to take care of a few matters in the city first. If we're fast enough, we can stay out of his way. Come on, let's go to the restricted zone. If we can get ahead of the curve and find the stellar on, Kokolia will be out of options. Okay, let's go. Whee. Is Branya really safe? Who knows? You care about her, huh? You must have become close friends. <laughs> Very close, close friends. Is a bit much. Best friends. But I made her a promise. Relax. She's the strongest girl I've ever seen. I can believe that. Let's go. Oh, they've jacked up security, all right. How the heck are we gonna sneak in? Serval, we need one of those brainwaves. Leave it to me. Stick close, guys, and don't get spotted. This is a military base. Trespassers aren't allowed in. Wait, isn't that... Ha! Serval! Long time no see. Well, if it isn't Franz. Long time no see. You still watching the entrance? Well, you see, I... Yeah, you haven't changed, Serval. Still nailing us to the wall. No? Oh? So, what brings you over here at this hour? And who are the guys behind you? Friends. My brother said the restricted zone energy lines were malfunctioning. 
told me it was urgent. He doesn't trust those contracted maintenance workers, so he got me in for free. These guys are my assistants. We need to overhaul all the installations here. Uh, I didn't hear anything about the energy lines malfunctioning. Oh, please. This is a technology division issue. Why would they tell you guys? Come on, let us in already. If the heating system goes down in the middle of the night, are you going to be responsible for all the frozen corpses? <laughs> N no, that's uh, not something I could handle. That's fair. Seeing as you're Captain Jappard's sister, it should be fine. Yeah, exactly. Okay, here are some temporary passes. Oh, and remember to give them back to me when you leave. Yes, he'll do. Thanks, Bronze. I'll put in a good word for you with my brother and get him to promote you. Yay. No, no, Captain right. Jappard hates all that under-the-table stuff. I'd have a hey, better Sky. chance if you don't mention me at all. Yippee. See, that was easy. Don't yank it. You're Jappard's sister, all right. <laughs> I don't want people to see me that way. Do you see that mechanical gear bridge? Yeah. When you cross over to the other side, you arrive at hell on earth. Yippee! The guard checks for the Kipoto. Do they believe in hell? Yay! Hell! The architects believe that hell can exist on any world. A plight that will inevitably come to be without intervention. I mean, for these people, hell would be nice, because normally hell is warm. And like, maybe even burning hot, and they're so used to- Honestly, no, they are so used to the cold, they would probably burn forever. Hell's frozen over- what? <laughs> what a surprise! In the future, a terrible catastrophe will arrive. If, under Klipoth, the preservation's guidance, we fail to construct a barrier, that catastrophe will sweep away the stars, plunging all worlds into hell. Yeah, fair enough. That's the belief of the architects. But for us, hell is an endless fragmentum, a few exhausted Silvermane guards, and the stench of death in the air. Let's go. If we want to progress further north, we will need to cross that hell. Are you ready? Yes! Harp should have come there, it's not trailblazing. Right on! I'm stealing that! Oi! Stop stealing my stuff! Let's go then. First, we need to think of a way to get to the other side. Walk? I help set the underlying mechanisms for this type of gear bridge. It's controlled via different terminals in combination. Let's go find them! Yippee! Is Japard on frontline duty a lot? Yes, but what made you ask that all of a sudden? So dangerous. Don't you worry about him? He's a Lando. Ah, uh, yes. That means he's <sighs> automatically safe. Nope. This terminal's offline. We can't control it from here. Okay. So what's the plan? Walk. Look for another. Every platform linked to the gear bridge should have a similar terminal. I never would have guessed that Jappard and you were brother and sister. I can't say I blame you. We're nothing alike in personality or interests. In our family, we have a strong military tradition going back generations. Many a Landau has died in their prime. There's not a lot of brother and sister time. Fair. Yep, I have already done that. You you need to watch back the vault if you want me you want to see me honestly succeed. I didn't really fail at that. Darn! Can't activate it. It seems like someone severed the energy supply to the terminals. <laughs> Uh, are the guards doing this intentionally? I was just thinking that. We can't rule it out. With the front line on high alert, they must have <laughs> rotated the bridge to make it impassable. Then they cut off the energy supply to the terminals to avoid accidental repositioning. Fair. Or 
to prevent deserters from escaping. I wanted to say I would prob will probably play the new update or at least continue playing this Wednesday. And then I realized, wait, I work on this Wednesday. I cannot stream. Oh, God. <laughs> well, uh, that means that I, I could probably stream next Saturday, I think, maybe, perhaps. Stream Tuesday. And that's also an option. I can also stream- no, wait, yeah, no. I will think about it. I have now- I can stream today, obviously. I can stream tomorrow and I can play a different game and then I can stream this again Tuesday. Well, I will see. There's a lot of options, okay? That way, even if the front line were to collapse, the Fragmentum monsters wouldn't be able to make it to the other side. Mm-hmm. So they cut off their only retreat. Yay, Sorry, more starving. Right. The Silvermane guards really are risking their lives to protect Bellabog. Just my conjecture, but I doubt it's far from the truth. My brother mentioned that they've had to use extreme measures to repel the Fragmentum monsters. Let's press on. We can't activate either of these terminals, so let's look for the energy supply installation itself. I will have to see if I can stream, because I also still need to finish the gifts. Hi! Oh no, why is there like health? Oh yeah, the potatoes. Yeah, I have like two and a half potato right now. Two are completely finished and I'm still working on one. It has eyes. It's It's been staring me in my soul the entire stream. But it's still missing, like, the other body parts. We're gonna have to fight someone here, aren't we? Fun. I will go explore this all later. shaped like a giant iron ball and it's behind a gate what are the odds its formal name is the mechanism energy hub it's connected to all the energy lines i would have thought it covers the entire restricted zone mm. Mm. no wonder it's so heavily guarded one unit for everything that's a disaster waiting to happen we learned the hard way as long as we can gain access permissions to the hub, we can operate the gear bridge terminals. Won't the guards get suspicious? That's why I told them we were here for urgent maintenance. The frontline equipment needs servicing just as much as the rest. So that's why you went for maintenance. Way to go, Sir Vol. I thought you just came up with it on the spot. Come on, let's see if that guard over there will let us pass. Hard treats mechanist Danny that hang it up. No, no, that's gonna get stuck in my head again. Why? You're mean. Yo, evening soldier. Are you the emergency engineers? I saw you guys hanging around. Did you find the problem? Not yet. Everything looks normal so far. I think the problem is stemming from the energy hub. If you let us in, we can do a routine service inspection. I've worked on various iterations of this type of installation. <laughs> no, 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 no. No can do. No one gets near the energy hub without the security captain's encryption key. Uh, not even the Supreme Guardian? The Supreme Guardian? Hey, no games, you hear? No dice without the encryption key. Ah, darn. This guy's not Stupid. Yeah, okay. You need the encryption key, right? Which captain should I bother then? Uh, uh, captain Dunn's resting up ahead. Go and find him. If he grants you permission, I won't stand in your way. Okay. Dunn? <laughs> Why didn't you say so? No problem. We'll be back in a bit. 
You mean all these things? I've been clicking them away the entire stream, but they keep coming back! <laughs> there, there. There. Those were the achievement ones. Nameless Honor. That one. Claim all. Claim. Claim. Okay, I can't claim again here, but how nice! Missions. Yeah, that's this one. And messages, but I kind of want to wait with those for next stream to start with. You know? So those are gonna stay. They're stuck with those. Boy! <laughs> Claim pom 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 still, yes. Greetings! Hey, done! It's been a while. I didn't know you made security, Captain. Sural, it's been a long time. You're still so. <coughs> you look good. Oh! Allow me to introduce my assistant. They most to you. definitely they slept together at one point. Everyone, this is Captain Dunn, an old friend of mine. He used to be an ace on the keys in the band. Simp, exactly. Oh, you play rock and roll too? Cool! Pleased to meet you. <laughs> Something smells weird. <laughs> uh, Zachary! How many days has it been since you showered? I, I showered right before my shift. Hmm? What did you say? <laughs> I... I haven't showered in two days, sir. Unacceptable, especially in front of visitors. Apologies. <laughs> it's not a big deal, Dunn. You know, if you get a chance, would you want to get on stage with us again? My keyboard guy is pretty good, but I still miss our military days playing in the band. <laughs> that was a long time ago, Sir Paul. I haven't touched the keyboard in ages. Besides, I'm stationed here all year round. I'm afraid I don't get many chances to return to the city. Though I don't stand on ceremony. Uh, how may I assist you? If everything's in order, you'd better head back to the city. It's not safe here. I've checked the lines. There don't seem to be any major problems. All that's left is the energy hub. The guard over there said that I needed an encryption key to open the gate. Can you help me out? We'll be on our way after we run the checkups. Don't be hesitant in front of your dream girl. <laughs> Anything wrong, Dunn? Uh, sorry, Serval, but can you tell me what Captain Jappard told you? Huh? Oh, uh, let me think. Hey, sis, the energy supply lines in the restricted zone have malfunctioned. Those useless engineers can't find the problem. Something like that? And may I ask, when did he contact you? Uh, this morning? Yeah, that's right. He's on urban patrol duty today, right? That's why he popped round and asked the favor. Oh, no. Uh -huh. Captain Jappard just returned to the front line. I could reconfirm with him. <laughs> We're gonna have to fight our way to. Uh, hold up, he's back? Uh, that can't be. He was still in the city a little while ago. <sighs> you haven't changed, Serval. You're still a lousy liar. <laughs> These people you've brought, they're. they're not workshop assistants, right? Uh. <sighs> Serval, it's not that I don't want to help you, but you should remember that I'm a Bellabog Silvermane guard. Yeah. How about this? You can leave, and I won't tell anyone about this incident, but the outsiders must remain. There goes the negotiation. Serval. 
Sorry for getting you involved in this. I brought you guys Guess here is back on the run from the law. What a surprise it's, it's me. No, the fate of our whole world. Please, don't stand in our way. Serval! We used to rehearse together every day. You must understand. My rock and roll soul is to uphold the dignity of a soldier. <laughs> My rock and roll soul. Oh, you got you. Gonna get your ass handed to you, dude. Move carefully. Yeah, 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 yeah. No manners, huh? Who will it be? Let's make it quick. The dignity of a sword is just about the opposite of having a rock and roll soul. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Try that again. The truth of life and death revealed Wee. in the sanctuary is but a vision. Break! Oh. Stay close. Gotta try hard sometimes. Stop summoning more people. Watch this awesome move. Back. Hey. Who invited you? Blink. <laughs> Brutal. Everything is ordained by the oh, stars. Give these trailblazers your blessing. Hey. Uh, yeah, poof. <laughs> poof. <laughs> poof. <laughs> Too late to repent. Whee. The truth of life and death revealed in an instant. The Whee. sanctuary is but a vision. Break. <laughs> Tough luck running into me. Let's go. That was the wrong button. Okay. Honestly, no clue what I just did. Rules are made to be broken. Boink. Here stands the Silvermane Guard. Wait. Who invited you? Huh? Don't give it up. Try that again. <laughs> Here. Let's make it quick. Gotta try hard some. Watch this awesome move. Honestly, I'm surprised this fight wouldn't like attract yeah. attention from everyone. <laughs> Oh. Why? Oh, the betrayal of a friend. Time for a little nap. <laughs> He's just unconscious. Don't worry. <laughs> Stubborn fool. Strong though. Wildfire lacks people like him. <laughs> They, they, they lack Being stubborn, creepy. strong fools. Quick, we attract attention, let's... Yeah, that's way too late, dude. I think we attracted attention. Exactly. That's the enemy attack alarm. Every Silvermane guard in the reserve zone just became our enemy. Yippee! My life was short, but it was a life filled with... <laughs> but you're not dead yet. How can you give up that easily? Very easily. We've made it up till now. I could lose an arm and a leg for all I care. I have to lay eyes on the Stellar Being Gen Z, exactly. Quick, back to the energy supply hub. Anyone that tries to stop us is going to find out a thing or two. Yay. If yes. I'd known he had the encryption key from the start, I could have snuck in and taken it off him myself. Shoulda, coulda, woulda, Sila. Activating the gear bridge alone would have been enough to expose. Miss Bus. Miss Bus. There are a lot of guards around here. Damn it, I forgot. I need to go up there. Uh, ignore me. Turn back, why? 
But I need to sprint past all the guards again. Scared yet? Who will it be? My turn. <laughs> Let's go. Who the truth you? of life and death. The sanctuary is missed chests. I will go back later, okay? In my own free time, I will explore the entire no game. Conflict. Scared yet? <laughs> Tough luck running into me. So. You can't run. This is our chance. Too late to repent. <sighs> I'm not gonna stream Wednesday anyway. You're not gonna miss out on anything. My turn. Here. Let's make it quick. Gotta try hard sometimes. Watch this awesome move. Besides, my own time can also be tomorrow. You don't know. Reach the end of the story in your own way. We're in. It's open. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, Dunn. Give me some time. Who designed this operating system? It's so unintuitive. Tomorrow you work. After work you EP. I do know. Darling. Darling, which day is it tomorrow? Exactly. <laughs> I'm free for the- there's a whole reason I'm working on Wednesday when I'm normally free. Because I cannot work today and I cannot work uh, today, tomorrow, and like, yeah, you know the thing. Emergency fire evacuation system? Not that. Rock and roll dance floor atmosphere mode? Who the heck added that? And they used one of my songs! <laughs> Your bridge control terminal. <laughs> Still found it. That's it. I've reset the energy system. Let's go. Let's go and operate the gear bridge terminal. We're gonna have to fight so many guards. Um, oh my god. Sir Ball, won't more silver main guards be waiting for us on the other side of the gear bridge? Yep. Then what's our plan? Fight. Well, either we reason with them or charge straight through the block. <laughs> straight to the black. There's a big guy up ahead. There's no other Cuddles! Way. We'll have to fight. No. If we can beat Svarog, we can beat this one. Let's go. I need my cuddles with the robots. Move carefully. The truth of life and death, revealed in an instant. The sanctuary is but a vision. Break! <laughs> Let's go. Yeah. Rules are made to be broken. Blink. No interest Dude, in you're gonna explode. Be oh, careful. Let's make it quick. Huh. Oh god, Fighting that's a lot of damage. Who invited you? <laughs> Told you I could fight. <laughs> yeah. I don't want to be alone. Oops. Death has become us. The truth of life and death, revealed in an instant. The sanctuary is but a vision. Break! No manners, huh? Huh? 
Let's go. Yeah. Please don't kill the rest of us. Ugh. I've no interest in con. I need to Who invited you? Upgrade some characters, I think. Who will it With like level. I haven't done that yet. I want to know. It's I think I need to do that real quick. Just a small guess. Oh hey, you wanted me to pick up the chat. There you go. <laughs> I'm not done yet. No, I wanna stay with this team. I got attached. And I wanna change. Uh, today me is even more awesome than yesterday me. Oh. <sighs> Just as a data bank requires updating, so I must keep evolving. Fair enough. You made a mistake from the, 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 the like, I, learn about it, I the get I love the attached to characters. So the cha I think I have had the same team in Genshin basically the entire day, time. Uh, I don't want to switch characters. Got an attached. They're mean. Someone there. Someone there. Stop right Nobody. There. Damn it. Ugh, fine. Scared yet? <laughs> you. Let's make it quick. Yeah, I guess that you want the best team for me because You're annoying. Fighting is meaningless. But I could detach the characters. No interest in conflict. Well, you can <laughs> chat about it after stream or something. I'm just gonna keep continuing like this. <laughs> Here. Let's go. Click the wrong person. I wanted to do the middle one. Dang it. Try that again. Fighting is meaningless. Who invited you? Nobody invited me. <laughs> Tough luck running into me. I've no interest in Oh, it yeah. can heal itself. Impressive. No man. <laughs> My turn. <laughs> Who invited you? Huh? <laughs> This is our chance. Yeah. Wink. Okay, time to fight the big bad monster again. Wink, wink. Shouldn't have done that, shouldn't have done that, shouldn't have... Why does it keep following me? Okay, we're back, buddy. Careful. Ba -ba 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 -ba. We already have it. Move carefully. You destroyed that one. No. <laughs> uh, I pressed the, the wrong button, but okay, it doesn't matter. Revealed in sanctuary is but a vision. Break. You destroyed that one. Try hard some watch this Let's awesome fight. move. Step one. And <laughs> put yeah. shield on him. Fighting is meaningless. Blink. Blink. <laughs> mm. 
her. Truth of life and death revealed in a sanctuary is but a vision. Break! Scared yet? Who will it be? <laughs> you! Gotta try hard sometime. Watch this awesome move! Huh. I've no interest in conflict. <laughs> Are made to be to broken. Lands. Oh well. Who invited you? <laughs> Here. Yeah. Fighting is meaningless. This is fine. This is all perfectly fine. <laughs> Yippee! Reach the end of the story in your own way. Energy restored. System online. Certification enabled. Come on. Come on! Forty percent? Sixty-five percent? Eighty-five percent? We did it. We've gained access to the gear bridge. Yippee! This shouldn't Hunt. have attracted okay. attention at we all. To to the front line. We could have a problem. Your brother may be there. No problem. He probably is. Hopefully we don't bump into him, but if we do, we'll just have to try and talk to him. Or fight him. Probably Are that's sure gonna end up happening. Him? I've probably got a 30% chance. Or less. <sighs> Meaning it could end in a fight. Haven't you noticed yet? Most of our convincing ends in a fight. Yeah. <laughs> we need to be sure, Saval. If we can't reach a common understanding with your brother, will you stand with us? Of course. My word is my bond. I said that I'd stand with you to the end, and I won't go back on that promise. Before our next expedition, I need Himeko to teach me some negotiation skills. Beating people up all the time is cramping my elegance. <laughs> I haven't fought with Jafard since he enlisted. He could never beat me when we were little, but now... Yeah, this is gonna end up in a fight. Serval. It really is you. Wait, Japard, Listen to me. When the sentry reported to me, I thought there must have been a misunderstanding. The enemy alarm had to be unrelated to your entry into the restricted zone. <laughs> Perhaps the intruders had taken you hostage. And yet. Step away from the intruders, Serval. Walk over slowly and stand behind me. Hmm, understandable. I'm different from them. I'm sorry. We have an understanding. I stand with them. Oof. <sighs> Give me a few minutes, just a few. I'll explain every... Enough, Serval. <gasps> Have you forgotten where we are? We Landals ought to know this place better than anywhere. The outer reaches of the front line against the Fragmentum. 
Felibog's most strategic protective fortress. Mm -hmm. Every silver main guard here, every person here, is ready to sacrifice themselves, ready to spill their blood for Belabog at a moment's notice. Yet here you are, leading fugitives into the restricted zone, attacking my Silvermain comrades in arms, hijacking the energy hub. Are you really worthy of the Landau name? Why do you think I've come here? We found a way to dispel the Eternal Freeze, to seal the Fragmentum. It might be the only lifeline this world has left. If that were true, why wouldn't you report to Madame Kakolia? Why would you sneak into the Restricted Zone and create chaos? You don't understand. The one preventing us from getting close to the truth is Kakolia herself. Oh, surprise. You have all seen the Supreme Guardian in person. Mm -hmm. Do you think you can act as you please because she didn't recognize your version of events? No. Listen to me, Chapard. The origin and spread of the Fragmentum is linked to the Stellaron. The meteorite in the Architect's records, it's... I know about the Stellaron. It's exactly what the fugitives behind you are seeking. But the Madam Guardian has already revealed the truth to me. These people have ulterior motives, Serval. They want to steal this treasure from the Architect's. Treasure? The Madam Guardian has warned me before that you were indulging in fantasy. That you'd been exposed to forbidden knowledge. And that you would bring destruction down upon Bellabog. I believe you, Serval. I believe you think you're acting with loyalty to the people. It's just... Guards, formation. Arrest these people. We can Yippee. be inundated with Fragmentum monsters at any moment. We have no time to waste on them. The forbidden oh. is only forbidden to conceal the truth within. Oh, that's one good Kukoli quote. Kukoli is afraid that we'll seize on this knowledge. That the truth will spread far and wide. To save the world, we must risk it all. I've said my piece. Whether you believe it or not is up to you. Regardless, you should know by now your sister's never been one to back down. If there's something or someone you can't abide, you should stand up and resist. And if there's something you uphold, you should uphold it to the very end. Oh. What happened to brainwaves? Save your explanation for the judge. You are charged with sabotaging the Silvermane Guard restricted zone. In my capacity as captain, Fine. I hereby order that these fugitives be arrested. This isn't like our childhood game, Serval. You won't get any leniency from me. The barrier hasn't been fixed yet. Don't try and be a hero, Jepard. Uh, didn't I tell you? All our negotiations have been combat. <laughs> yeah. The truth of life and death, revealed in an instant. This sanctuary is but a vision. Ch so resistance is futile. Brittle. What is it with you and her? Stop Move trying carefully. to kill her. What the heck? Let's make it quick. Gotta try hard sometimes. Watch this awesome move! Wink. Take her. <clears throat> Rude. No interesting. Rules are made to be broken. Wee. Try that again. The truth of life and death. Reveal the sanctuary is but a vision. Everything is ordained by the sun stars. Give these trailblazers your blessing. Who will it be? 
Tough luck running into me. Let's make it quick. Wink. Who invited you? <laughs> you can't run. Go away. Gotta try hard. Some watch this awesome move. Wink. <laughs> Let's go. Wink. Too late to repent. My turn. Fighting is meaningless. Rules are made to be broken. How was the fight with the robot harder? Up against anyone this relentless. He just won't go down. He's as stubborn as I am. It could be an argument or a fight. He'll do both to the death. That's why he bugs the heck out of me. That's enough, Jepard. Take a look around you. You're the last man standing. <sighs> Even if I am. I won't yield. <laughs> Brainwaves? <laughs> Anyone? No, we don't need you to yield. We don't want you to yield through force of arms. That wouldn't be a victory for us. Yeah, our goal is the same as yours, Sir Balls and Branya's. We just want to preserve this world. There's no reason to turn against each other. Japard, brother. Surely now you can see the need for pragmatism. Even if you don't believe my outsider friends, you should believe me. Maybe I've wasted your trust. In which case, believe Bronya. Lady Bronya. I think you brought everything you know shows in Bronya's letter. Woohoo! Finally something I could read! There's nothing more to say, Jepard. The decision is yours. As a captain of the Silver Mane Guards, I am duty bound to carry out the orders of the Supreme Guardian. Final answer? But Lady Bronya is the commanding officer for the front lines. According to military protocol, if the frontline directives of the commanding officer clash with those of the architects behind the lines, a soldier must remain at their post and await further directives. Ooh. Is this a brainwave? This feels like a brainwave. <laughs> For the Silvermane guards, the Guardian's orders are paramount and absolute. But there is something of equal importance in the oath we take. The people of Belabog. If we lose the people, we lose the reason for our existence. Our fight with the Fragmentum monsters is for the sake of preservation. But our fight with you? I fail to see the purpose. If you are truly able to prevent our endlessly unfolding misfortunes, then the people of Belabog are indebted to you. <laughs> But if you are using lies to mask your true intentions, using my sister and Branya for your own ends, I swear by Klopoth that I will carry out your punishment without an ounce of mercy. Fair enough. They're not lying. I promise you. You must be Zila. You are a skilled fighter. Your combat style is nothing like that of the guards. Yet I uh, come from the Regardless underground. Regardless of what you believe, these guys have been a great help to the underworld. Many people would vouch for them. Hmm. I'm sure. If you want to advance further northward, you must traverse an area entirely corroded by the Fragmentum. Fun! It's the only way to get to the snow plains on the other side. Mm-hmm. The guards can give you some time before the next wave of attacks is upon us. 
Yippee! Let's go! Wait. Talk. Do we talk? Nay. Let's go! Ooh, mine. Let's go! As soon as the restricted zone gate is opened, the monsters on the other side will turn out in full force. Mm -hmm. The guards will do their best to stall them and buy you some time. Once you've broken through the front line, there's nothing more we can do for you. Understood. You'll have to find out for yourselves what lies within the northern fragmentum. Understood. So, have you made up your minds? Yes. Ready. Understood. Keep your weapons close. This will be a fierce fight. That's cool. Guards, open the gate. Are you dealing with attacks like this every day? It's a common occurrence. <laughs> Guards, formation. <laughs> well, I'm gonna make sure I don't owe the guards any favors when this is done. For universal peace! Here they come. Steal yourselves. I went for right. Yeah. You're just a simp. Scared yet? <laughs> Tough luck running into me. <laughs> I forgot to heal my characters. Why didn't you tell me I forgot to heal my characters? Fighting is meaningless. The truth of life and death reveal the sanctuary. Because, because I forgot to. Okay, great. Wait, as in your own playthrough or just me now? No manners, huh? Both. <laughs> great. Good to know we're both idiots. I have a healer on my team, though. I am too lazy to care. I can. I can survive without healer. See, this is going great. Mm -hmm. You can't run. Fighting is meaningless. Who invited you? Who will it be? Told you I could fight. Let's make it quick. Too late to repent. There, that wasn't difficult at all. Oh, poor dude. Did he get hurt? I told you, Jepard, the barrier hasn't been fixed yet. Don't try and be a hero. This is only the first wave. We'll have reassembled soon. I have to. We will take it from here. Hey, Mr. Silvermane, listen to your sister. I can tell just by looking at you that you haven't fully recovered. Outsiders, Zila, the second wave hasn't started yet. Make the most of this opportunity and make a break for it. You're not coming with us? Serval, aren't you gonna look for the Stellaron with us? My brother can't hold them back by himself. He wasted a lot of energy on us. He's my responsibility now. Besides, yep. if I'm not here to help, I don't know what might happen in the next wave. Fair enough. I want to go with you. I do. I always wanted to catch a glimpse of the Stellaron with my own eyes, and now it's so close. But I can't abandon my brother and the other guards. I'm a Landau. It's up to you now. I believe in you. You've given me new hope. Yes, ma'am. Get hold of the Stellaron before Kakolia realizes what's happening. Ch Charts! <laughs> Hey, March, don't forget to take a picture of the Stellaron for me. Will do. Say no more. We're good at this. Don't worry. Oh. 
Fragmentum activity is intensifying. Something's happening on Urelo 6. Took you long enough to realize? Shouldn't we go down there, Himiko? <laughs> Have faith in them. Besides, this is her first trailblazing expedition. How will she be able to look back fondly without a few twists and turns? And almost dying a few times. I understand. But we have lots of opportunities ahead of us. Let's leave the memories of this expedition for them. Mm. So you think they'll be safe, right? Yes. We haven't seen any Eon or Emanator level imaginary reactions. Relax. This is a young person's adventure. We shouldn't interfere. At most, we could offer a little off site assistance. Is this the fragmentum Japard was talking about? Probably. Compared to this, the corrosion we saw in Backwater Pass pales into insignificance. How can we pinpoint the Stellaron? Serval said that the Stellaron was very likely hidden in the snow plains north of Bellabog. If we want to get there, I'm afraid we'll have to find the exit to this fragmentum maze first. Guys, does this place feel weird to you? It feels like... like there are loads of eyes staring at us. This place makes my flesh crawl. Like there are insects under my skin. Yikes. Oh. Oh, no guide, oh god. Detecting the Stellaron. Why did you have to describe it like that? Gradually. E and cautiously. Don't be disheartened. That was my body. That was instantly like, oh, I, I, I know how I can recreate that feeling. Okay, we're fully healed and stuff. Let's go. Oh, look! Up ahead on the ground. What is that? Be careful. People. Think twice before you interact with anything in the fragmentum. We're deep inside the fragmentum. There could be hidden dangers lying in wait. Mm-hmm. Let's look for other clues first. Okay. Uh, you want me to interact with... Oh, I should investigate. Branyas! We found it in the orphanage. Yeah, so she's... She's been here already? Where? No, it isn't them. It must be a kind of echo. Some type of residual energy replicated by the fragmentum. Which means they were definitely here, right? And it looks like they went that way. <laughs> Just in time. We had no idea which direction to take. Let's go. Oh, the snow globe. No. Oh, she stood like right. Oh, okay. You still haven't told me what this place is, Mother. 700 years ago, this was Bellabog's northern border and the site of an ancient battle. Here is where Elisa Rand led the first Silver Mane guards in resistance against the Legion. Now, it is nothing more than an abandoned corridor. Filled with the sounds of old world echoes. Don't let its fragmented appearance fool you, Branya. On the day the promise is fulfilled, these ruins will become the breeding ground of a new world. Oh no. Mother, do you truly believe the Stellaron's promise? It summoned the blizzard beyond our walls and opened the door of the Fragmentum. It destroyed our civilization. And yet, the crime of our ancestors was their inability to embrace that destruction sooner. Oh no! What? From the moment those intruders descended from beyond the sky, this world was handed a death sentence. But the Stellaron 
has reserved for us a thread of hope. There is a price to pay for new life, wiping away every decaying vestige of the old world, renouncing the meaningless and lingering struggle. This is the price the Stellaron demands. When the promise is fulfilled, Branya, no longer will we have to squander our lives guarding this wasteland. You and I will witness the new world rise from the ruins. Oh no. No. They really have gone insane, huh? This is a complex mechanism. How did they get past? Hammer! Uh, I knew this wouldn't be simple. Uh, wait, wasn't there some big energy hub looking thing back in that empty area? Let's go back and take. <sighs> I can't say I like the idea of interacting with our surroundings, especially this deep into the fragmentum. I'm not listening. However, there's no other way. I need desperate to find four desperate measures. It worked, right? But the gate did. Are there other units around? It's clear that whoever designed these mechanisms didn't want outsiders to get through too easily. Let's keep e looking for the energy hub. Ooh. And there you forced me to do more work. Keep at it. Wrong button. E I see it too. Let's go. Do they have to make everything so difficult? Dang it, I was too slow with my buttons. Just keep moving forward. No extra fights needed. Oh, hey, it's another thing like this. to repent. <laughs> Tough luck running into me. Rules are made to be broken. There we go. Are those monsters guarding the energy hub? Which monsters? Seems like it. Hmm. Strange. Fragmental monsters would usually destroy man-made objects. Did you hear that? This come on, let's find the next one. Yippee. Where is the next mechanism? Oh, behind that gate. There's no switch. We need to find a way around. Oh, yippee. I've never seen such a desolate place. At least in Rivet Town, you could tell that people used to live there. Rivet Town is only at the out. <laughs> Sorry for cutting you off. This way? Now I have locked myself in. 
Never mind. What did I do? Let's check it with Miss Yang first. What is this, Miss Yang? <laughs> the best to be a rift in space torn by the fragmented and corrosive reality. The significant name for this venom is Cavern of Corrosion. No one knows for sure what kind of space the caverns connect to. However, research does indicate that viable reality data is often scattered within these caverns. Relic form place. Good. Yeah, I see. Okay. Hmm, oh yeah, I see. Just ignore until yeah. I already clicked on it. Shoo, go away. Wow. Uh, 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 boing! Damn it! I was too late. I was too focused on the puzzle. The truth of life and death. The sanctuary is but a vision. Break! Gotta try hard sometime. Watch this awesome move! Reach the end of the story in your own way. Thank you. One more to go. Success. Another mechanism shut down. I want to ask you a question. Oh, yes, ask away. Do you still remember those dreams you mentioned to us? Yes. I know you're wide awake right now, but I need you to try. See if you can recall the voice you heard. Okay. You try and recall the dreams. I should vein of thought deepens. The voice comes to you. It kind of feels like well, that. The voice is nice. We're getting close. What kind of sovereign is this? Is this is merely speculation, but perhaps the voice you heard is the Stellaron somehow conveying information to Cocolia, and the one in your body is resonating with the Stellaron on this world. Huh? You mean that Stellarons can communicate? I've never heard that before. Well, there's never been a human that could accommodate a Stellaron in their body. Exactly. Stellaron knows we're here. Then, aren't we walking straight into a trap? No. Perhaps. Yes. And Branya may well be the bait. Don Hung's speculations are usually right on the money. But even if we've guessed right, we can't go home now. Exactly. <laughs> There's no way back anyway. At least Kokolia won't catch us off guard now. So what if it's an ambush? We're not about to lose now. Yay. We have to save Branya. Beat Kokolia. Same. Crush this Stellaron thing to dust. Yippee. Chest. Bup. Bup. Oh, this one we already interacted with, right? Yes. Um.
Hmm? Which? Okay, so like I go. Is this right? No, search. I'm trying to figure things out. If you want to get to the other side, we'll need to rotate the gear bridge again and go around. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm not the smartest when it comes to directions, okay? Why is there no... There's you, huh? I'm really confused. Dang it. Oh, uh, the, the it's Makalak. Bye bye. Probably also need to eat soon. How difficult is it to rotate this thing in the right correct direction? Ugh, the other warp is all the way over there. That's gonna be so long to walk. I don't wanna do that. E. But I also cannot jump over. You know what? I'm too lazy to figure the puzzle out. Let's just do it this way. Or did this reset like the entire thing? That's also a possibility. I did, in fact, not reset everything. Yippee! Found your weakness. Too late to repent. Who will it be? Yippee! The stars will ha. always remember us. Is that all? Uh, are these echoes too? Yes. Yes. The fragmentum here seems to have made a special connection with Cocolia. It's repeatedly generating forms in her image. I will read later what that says. Let's first open this one. to Branya. Let's move! I don't understand. Even if the truth is as you say, every generation of Guardian has resisted the call of the Stellaron. And all of them have been wrong, Mother. Obviously. Do you still not see, Branya? There is no right or wrong here. Some of them acted out of human pride, others out of human short-sightedness. Our ancestors, including Elisa Rand, spent their whole lives trying to prolong this civilization. Then, after all fell still, their memories were scattered by the blizzard. They spent lifetimes writing songs of praise that lauded the bravery of humanity but couldn't spare the time to gaze up into the stars to those entities of greater magnificence in the heavens above a thousand years is but a passing moment the attainments of insignificant beings nothing more than a footnote I shall not follow the Guardian's misguided steps down that blind alley of narcissism. If persistence is futile, then one must choose a new beginning. Damn, okay. But Klipoth, the preservation. 
Are they not one of the magnificent entities you speak of? Is it not their strength that has sheltered Bellabog this entire time? Yeah. The preservation. Has the preservation ever looked humanity in the eye? Nothing more than an arrogant delusion of the architects. Oh, you will hear the real voice of magnificence, Branya. Then you will understand my choice. I like that they're floating. I was taking that moment very seriously. <laughs> Yippee! Yippee! Oh no! I think that is ice. Whoa! Check this place out. Tables and sentry posts. There must. Cherry. Looks like another completely new monster. Yippee. Considering where we are, it would be surprising if we didn't run into strange enemies here. I don't care how strange it is. It's blocking our way. Let's get it. <sighs> Freeze. Um. Just a scratch. <laughs> Just a scratch. Sure. <clears throat> the truth of life and death. The sanctuary is but a vision. Break. Fine. Who invited you? <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> what did that For even mean? Oh, she's gonna attack like that every yeah. time I use a special attack. <laughs> oh, I've no interest in She's mean. Yeah, I accept the punishment. You're not gonna be able to hand it out either way. No, let's just shoot. Fighting is meaningless. Yeah, I'm okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Damage, blah, de, blah, de, blah. I know. Rules are made to be broken. Why would I follow your rules? Oh wait, no that's legit what the character comment. said. Whoops. The truth of life and death. The sanctuary okay. is but a vision. Break. Yippee! This enemy is completely different. I didn't know it was a product of the Fragmentum. I think we were fighting a human. Oh. Unlike those random low-level Fragmentum creations, this one seems to have a mind of its own. Mm-hmm. Seems to be able to use complex tactics. Look, Branya and Kokolia's echoes. They must have come through here. The voice is getting clearer. Uh, that means we must be really close, right? Yep. I sense that we're very near to the northern snow plains. Heal me, please. Thank you. What are you saying? This is where the first guardian led the Silvermane guards into battle. She made huge sacrifices for the sake of temporary respite. But the otherworldly legion did not tire. She soon realized that flesh and blood could not contend with so ruthless an enemy. Mm -hmm. When all was nearly lost, she chose to set her sights on the Stellaron and made the first wish. Oh. As for what came later, you know as well as I. Mm hmm. So. The eternal freeze was a disaster brought about by a human wish? <sighs> Ironic.
Sonic, no. All the Stellaron did was answer humanity's call. And yet we kept its existence a closely guarded secret for centuries. Even going so far as to attempt to use it to control the Stellaron. It's woeful. <laughs> Laughable. It? Oh. Well, something created using otherworldly technology. An inhibitor that a corporation from the old world and the architects attempted to use to house the Stellaron. <laughs> oh. I know you have many questions, my daughter. Be patient. Soon you will have all the answers. Okay. It's just leading me right into all these enemies. Okay. Uh Okay. Not what I wanted to do, but sure. You're annoying. I have no interest in conflict. Who invited you? Who will it be? This is our chance. Wink. Rude. Fighting is meaningless. No manners, huh? <laughs> I've no interest in conflict. Wink. Scared yet? Who will it be? Told you I could fight. Boink. Too late to repent. Boink. Rules are made to be broken. Fighting is meaningless. Let's go. Yippee. Don't go to that one, no. Oh, what is it with you and just leading me in enemy after enemy after enemy? This will strengthen our position. No interest in you try hard sometimes. Watch this awesome move. <laughs> You're annoying. Rules are made to be broken. Please be done with leading me into enemies right now. Thank you. Hey, click. Is that all? Click. See anything. Whoops. The truth of life and death revealed in the sanctuary is but a vision. Break. No. Fighting is meaningless. No. Please don't die. <sighs> Tough luck running into me. <laughs> you. 
Let's make it quick. Too late to repent. You're annoying. Who invited you? Huh? Try hard sometime. Watch this awesome move. Yeah. Up okay. Reach the end of the story in your own way. <laughs> it's that shadow of hers again. But Branya's isn't with her this time. It's only a fright. Oh, oops. It feels like. This echo is different from the others before. Older? Intruders. Oh god. Uh, did did she just speak? Yep, that was the voices. You we can and we will. Not good. March, out the way. I'm gonna Let's fight it. We're gonna fight the echo. Intruders. You go no further. I'm okay. Uh, are you sure this isn't the real her? It may Rules look like are made to be broken, but legend can only create fortunes. Bring her down. Move carefully. I don't remember in <laughs> With me out here, how can we lose? The truth of life and death, revealed in an this sanctuary, is but a vision. Everything is ordained by the stars. Oh, profound secrets of the stars. Give these trailblazers your blessing. You are doomed to fail. Oh, damn, okay. <clears throat> Ow. You can't run. <laughs> A gift from the stars. My turn. Watch this. Let's go. <laughs> Going here. Oh, you're annoying. A guest with no manners, huh? Difficult fight. <laughs> Stay right there while I give you a present. Gotta try hard some. Watch this awesome move. A world devoured by ice. You can't run. Witness the avalanche. <sighs> Try that again. Who will it be? Judgment of eternal winter. Oh, Ow. That, that hurts. Rules are made to be broken. That hurts a lot. We are so dead. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Tremble before my power. We're dead. Uh. Think I'm gonna leave it here for today. I know it's a bit of a annoying place to end, but I have been streaming for almost four hours, so I think. Not being able to defeat this is clear enough for the financier. I need to level up some bits first. Anyway, I want to thank you all for watching and bye bye! Till next time!